pinging list stuck in my head. Right. Um, so uh, I'm going to talk with uh, Tor Agent about uh, panty and stalking, but you can already say that, see that by the title of this video. So um, I, I don't think, do you think we need to explain what the plot of this thing is? Uh, I can read the, the, the synopsis, but uh, I, I don't can, know. It's basically you the can path, read your the synopsis, yes. and then I can read mine. I, because I think I think a fan wrote wrote so this synopsis I have. Good, good. So but I don't need a synopsis. Let's just say that uh, for those who don't know, that it, it's basically kind of like the Powerpuff Girls, but um, it's by Gynet, so it's a lot more perverted. Uh, and uh, th there's also a whole lot of um, ref references to. Um, you, to uh, uh, Western uh, uh, film, TV series, and stuff like uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, so, you, so for instance, you you would have an episode that's themed on on The Walking Dead or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah a, also, yeah, near, yeah, and um, uh, yeah, I think I think it's nearing the end. There's like a Romeo and Juliet themed episode, uh, but it's all it's not like Romeo and Juliet. It's more like the film. Um, Romeo and Juliet that came out a few years ago. I think, I think that like it's like ten years old that film. But but but, but anyway, um, here's the here's the writer. <laughs> Ponty Unstocking. The Anarchy Sisters are two nasty ass angels who got booted from the pearly gates for being foul now for bitches. Now they spend their nights <laughs> blowing up ghosts in the sneezy abyss between heaven and earth. Panty like sex, stocking like sweets. Shit, I've lost my place. The Afro support, uh, the Afro sporting main man, Garter Belt, has a fetish we can't mention. <laughs> uh, together, they are turning the mean streets of Dutton City into a buffet of bodily fluids. Ghosts don't stand a chance against their laundry of mass destruction. And now, this debaucherous duo. Um, can collect enough heaven coins, they just might get their halos back. It's a slim chance in hell, but anything could happen when you're rolling commando, especially with panty and stocking. <sighs> God, I shouldn't, I should have said, I shouldn't have read that out of breath though. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, there you go. there's the there's the write up. So I think I think this came out in 2010. And uh, so that means that um, Guy Nets uh, wasn't totally dead um, by then, uh, because because it's Guy Nets the studio is basically dead now. So for those of you who don't know, yeah, 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 isn't it? Isn't it like a um, like a, just a Guy or or a, or a Guy Net now? Now that it's sort of split off into many sort of like weird companies. And uh, I, and I want his money back, <laughs> or something. I can't I, I can't quite remember the the drama that that have happened um, over it. But uh, for uh, whatever reason, uh, some like company, some some like random company owns like a lot of Gynax properties, like a gunbuster and things that are sort of locked away. Um, there are IPs. Um, with like um, random companies because it got sold off. Um, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, the, yeah, yeah. This um, this would have been one 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 of the last uh, somewhat decent things uh, Gynax put out. If not, like, had... not the last. Yes. Yes. Um. So, uh, did you know anything about uh, panty and stocking before? Um... You watched um, it. The uh, the um, only thing I knew about it was that uh, Digipro likes it, uh, but that's about it. I didn't. I, I I have no idea what I was getting into. Mm. I, I I haven't I haven't seen Digipro review or anything about it, but uh, I I guess I can see why he would like it. I mean, um. <laughs> so uh, uh, earlier I mentioned that. Uh, that it's like the Powerpuff Girls, and and the reason that I said that is is it's because um, 
uh, it, it does have s- sort of a more Western cartoon, like um, um, you know, you know, like those cartoons on Cartoon Network, like Johnny Bravo or something. And, and yeah, but, yeah, 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 um, yeah. Yeah, it is yeah. like that. Apart and, from what uh, it isn't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and of, and of course. Um, most of the references uh, to other media, and and there's a lot um, uh, to, um, because I, I think it's they are kind of doing, doing it consciously. Like I I think it's kind of implied that uh, I mean they are not in the United States, but in some place like that, rather than like like Japan, for instance, uh, when Pantheon's talking, go to high school. It's basically an, an American high school with, you know, um, yeah, yeah, American yeah. football and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I, I, and but this, I think that despite the fact that it's a very uh, cartoony um, art style, there's a lot of uh, sakuga, you know. Like, uh, y- yeah, there is. Yeah, lots of um, sakuga bait. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, so, let's say. Um, so yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah. I mean, like, there's. I think. I think there's like a, like an entire sort of sub episode uh, that's like entirely three D animated, but like they've like put some like, <laughs> uh, but like occasionally there's like some like two D, you know, uh, characters. Yeah, I think I, actually no. Uh, to be honest, I think I think there's like a lot of three D animation scattered scattered everywhere, like. Uh, in the opening, you know, um, yeah, um, occasionally, you know, it's just really well drawn. It, it, <laughs> yes, occasionally, okay. like, like, um, oh God, you're you, right you do again. get a, a little bit of an um, anime art style kind of. Oh, no, no, um, oh, sh- am I? Uh, Still you were, but you're fine now, I think. Uh, yeah, well, it's uh, I've moved to another place, so and there, I I don't have a Wi-Fi uh, yet uh, here, so so that's why. Uh, um, yeah, and I don't know what else I can do to make this better. Uh, hopefully, yeah, I th- I think it's better if I'm turned this way. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, I, I, much, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I it's actually much better. Yeah, I just turned. Uh, Ninety degrees. I I don't I don't understand why. Like uh, there are so many places h- here in Britain. I mean I mean like in a town here, and I don't know. Th- there's no signal. Yeah. Um, anyway, yes. Yeah, so as I was as you were saying, yeah. Th- there's a there's a lot of three D, uh, three D in there. Like because especially when the and it's kind of weird because, um. You, you know, like in the how in the power of uh, girls, like um, the, the buildings and everything, just look two D. Like uh, uh, there's no depth, there, there not that many shadows or detail. Um, yeah. But yes, yeah. and it, it's the same here. But uh, I guess they use three D and then uh, they draw over it uh, so that they can show like uh, uh, action scenes uh, of them like going around a building or something. Uh, t- a turning the corner, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah. and uh, and sometimes they just like make like models and just blow them up, which, which is a uh, pretty funny. Uh, I yeah. think, uh, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, there was like there was like a, a paper mache or a whatever model made for, like for like all the ghosts, and they just like blow them up. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, when they're defeated, which is like yeah, which is pretty fun to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, I, uh, um, what's this? Uh, this uh, was a was a was a comedy. Um, I didn't really laugh that much. Um, there were like some pretty like dumb jokes that that uh, it did get some chuckles out of me. But I don't know. I didn't like. I didn't really. Uh, the um, humor didn't like didn't really uh, do it for me. Uh, I guess. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't laugh that much. Either. I mean, I I did chuckle a bit here and there, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe I would have found it a bit funnier when, when I was fourteen or something. Um, uh, what else is there to say about the art style? Um, 
not much else. I, I felt like I felt like um, um, the show kind of peaked halfway at around uh, episode six. I, um, I think the best uh, scenes, the best action scenes, were uh, I think it was episode episode six when the um, I, I guess. Uh, I, the, the bad, the bad girls, uh, the devils, or whatever they were called, devil, devilish girls, or something. Uh, um, um, yeah, uh, Scanty and uh, knee socks, knee socks, yeah, <laughs> which were basically like an an evil duo version. I, I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean <laughs> panty and stocking are not are not his, I mean, not exactly <laughs> good either. I mean, they they I guess. Um, Lawful no. good, maybe, or mm, not, not, or maybe they're, just chaotic. They're like um, chaotic, chaotic good. Chaotic good. Yes, yes. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, yeah, it's pretty funny uh, how the um, the um, angels like seen all the time. You know that they're, they're like you know, uh, you know they're greedy and they're lustful, uh, whereas the demons are, are, are you know, <laughs> they um, keep talking about rules. You know. And they're like sort of low key based sometimes. <laughs> I, f- I thought that was like pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the, the full title of the show is uh, Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. But uh, yes, uh, yeah. yes, everybody just calls it um, Panty and Stocking because <laughs> I don't think anybody cares about Garter Belt. I mean, I guess his intros are kind oh. of nice. Sometimes, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, actually, uh, um, the uh, thing that made me laugh the most um, in this show was um, was, um, was all the English. You know, if I could, <laughs> you know, just the uh, characters like this, you know, uh, swearing like in English, but but you know, with, with you know a uh, Japanese accent, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Which was uh, pretty, yeah. I don't know. It was like you know, it, it was dumb. Obviously, it's not like it's not, it's not like a high comedy or something. But yeah, it was like it was pretty funny. <laughs> it's like, it's like a, what the fuck? <laughs> like every episode. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I I guess um, they're kind kind of um, yeah. It's it's basically a lot a lot a lot a lot of it is, is a bunch of. Um, Stereotypes about Americans um, from American media, basically. Um, you know, c- yeah. uh, punct- punctuating every fucking sentence with fucking this, fucking that. Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> I, I also oh. like how uh, how Gato like would you know would just come out you know and, and just call them, like and and just call them both retards you know when, when like they mess up. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, like um, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't really rate rate this series too highly. Um, I can't like uh, I I didn't really get like emotionally invested. I think it's it's more difficult um to get emotionally um invested when it's like episodic, right? Um, this series is um is is mostly episodic. Though we're nearing the end, it gets a bit. Uh, uh, the storylines do um, do sort of get longer um, and sort of um, go over multiple episodes, but uh, yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't really care that much about them because I just like knew oh yeah next episode that's probably gonna be fine like uh, the um, you know um, one episode that could be zombies right but but like you know uh, <laughs> I could just I can I could just put on the the next episode and I, you know. And they're back to normal now, so that's not really a problem, you know. You don't like a, there isn't really much, uh, like you know, suspense or you know, or yeah, anything. It, uh, it, it's 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 basically for the most part uh, a monster of the week uh, kind of uh, show. Yeah. Um, you, like um, Garter, for instance, is basically immortal, um, and as as is, um, yeah, I think it would have been better if he had been left dead at the end. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just sort of comes back. Uh, like uh, I guess uh, was yeah. It was um it it was the uh, sister's brother um who 
he sort of come like comes down, but you know, you, and you just see her legs, right? Uh, and, and she resurrects Garter. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, they, they they kind of implied that maybe that's good or something. I don't know. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, I I I thought that. Um, oh God, it's a bit loud. The wind. Oh yeah, yeah. That's because I'm like I'm walking through a field at the moment. I'll uh, I'll try to get. I'll uh I'll do this. Is it better now? Yeah, it's better now. Uh, that's yeah, good. It's... I'm uh, I'm protecting it with my with my coat. <laughs> yeah. Um. I I kind I kind of feel felt like the finale and uh, the ending was a bit um not 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 a letdown or anything, but uh, yeah. We are going to end it, uh, and like, uh, oh, let's just have this uh, um, meaningless twist at the end. Uh, <laughs> after the credits, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you watch the you watch the after the credits scene. Yes, right? yes, the yeah, after credits scene. It was like uh, it did seem a bit a bit some um, half halved, right? Um, it's like it's almost as you know, <laughs> it's almost as if um, you know a stocking. You know, she like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to um, betray my sister, but you know, I'm gonna do it like a half assed away. You know, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, it was a, it was a very weak, um, it was a very um, weak sort of teaser for the next series that that um, never came. Yes, uh, I guess. Though um, there was there was a a bonus episode, uh, sort of thing um, that that um, came out a. Uh, uh, a little while ago, I'm, I'm not quite sure when it came out, but um, it was a sort of like a um, an episode with like a bunch of shorts that sort of um, supplemented the um, series. So it's not like uh, it's not like um, it was like a um, a new episode, but it was just it was a sort of like some extras. Uh, but yeah, I watched that. It wasn't like it's not really that worth. It's not really worth watching. Uh, <laughs> Unless you want to know about a a, a date, uh, the uh, nerd like the, the ginger nerd kid had with her panty, uh, you know, or uh, when she was a zombie. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It was uh, it was all right. Though um, I w- um, I read the comments on that uh, additional episode, like, <laughs> and like all the all the longtime fans were angry because you know they somehow got you know because they, well well because they thought they got cheated, you know. Uh, they thought like 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 a new series was was uh, coming out, but yeah, no, it was it was just a sort of short episodes uh, to uh, supplement the original. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I I kind of uh, skimmed through it, but uh, I didn't I didn't feel like it was worth watching because it seemed a bit I don't know uh, low on the budget or something. Um, yeah, it didn't uh, it didn't really add anything either. Um, to to be honest. I I think uh, they did do some some creative things here and there, um, and they were they're probably able to get away with it uh, because of because it's just uh, a raunchy comedy. Like f- for instance, uh, that, that episode yeah. where it's them just uh, sitting in front of a TV uh, and uh, ordering pizza and food um, and wait, and waiting for. Uh, Garter Belt. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure whether it's even a whole episode. It's probably just half an episode because, um, as you explained before we started recording, uh, b- basically most episodes are like uh, uh, they are divided in two, and you you will have like two, two. Um, uh, how, uh, two? Yeah, each episode has has two arcs, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, so it's. it's uh, it's basically again going back to the path, path girls. It would be like uh, they defeat a monster in the first arc, and then they defeat another monster in the second arc. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I think uh, uh, the two most memorable arcs uh, were, I think, probably the the second one where, uh, or was it the first? Either the first or the second where uh, they were like ch- chasing this. Um, this ghost, um, quote unquote ghost, that, that's what they call the monsters so, uh, who try to destroy this city. Um, uh, you, you know, the, the one uh, 
um, we, we just we just wanted to go fast. <laughs> I I thought yeah 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 that yeah that yeah that one was uh, pretty funny yeah. <laughs> yeah, the uh, or- orgasming train ghost. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, um, the um, the arc I enjoyed uh, a-, a lot was uh, was the, the uh, Transformers arc <laughs> when 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 it just like both eat like the, the hearts of like uh, obviously what you know what was supposed to be like um, Optimus Prime and uh, Megatron, and then they have like a fight. <laughs> You have like uh, the uh, panty bots versus the uh, stocking cons or whatever the fuck, and then uh, yeah, I mean it's stupid, but yeah, it was like it was um, pretty fun. Yeah, when they just become robots, I don't think I don't think they were like um, in like in that show like uh, sorry in that episode would would have like changed back like I can't remember, uh, but yeah, that was like that 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 was a fun episode. Um, Another, another, another one of my favorites was uh, was uh, when they like turn small, um, and then and then they sort of climb inside of uh, uh, the ginger kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, breathe. Yeah, yeah, uh, and then <laughs> and then and then and then they start expanding. So uh, so uh, Garza has to. Uh, has to has to perform like a uh, birth <laughs> on him. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, that was like that 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 was pretty funny. Um, to be honest, but yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, basically, um, like it's, it's probably not good to. It's probably not a show for people who are underage, but you will probably enjoy it no, more. No, no, no. You'll probably enjoy it more if you are underage, though. I yeah. think. Um yeah, yeah. It's like uh it's like uh, it's like the family guy effect, right? Like uh I I remember when I was like fourteen, right? And uh I uh, I, I was staying up um I was staying up um past my bedtime and uh, I was I was watching Family Guy and by god like uh, it was so funny, man. Man, like uh, Family Guy is like is like, like the best show of all time. It's so fucking edgy, it's so funny. And then and then when he gets <laughs> And then when you get older, uh, it's sort of you know the magic wanes, let's say, and uh, it becomes. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, Mike, you just can't stand it uh, because you know it's just fucking Family Guy, man. I mean, you know, come on. Uh, I don't. I don't. Th- I don't think this is as bad as Family Guy, though. I mean. Uh, and no, 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 like uh, um, the uh, the difference between uh, this and Family Guy is that is that this um, is like funnier, I uh, um, I guess, and and uh, more uh, inventive. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it it just I mean it's it's dumb, but it it kind of feels like they did put in some effort, um, and uh, and there's also some unusual stuff. Um, for example, that that episode about uh, the old uh, the old guys. So the one which is not set in uh, Dathan City, uh, which is the city which they are protecting or something. Um, uh, but 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 it's based in the city next to it, which is Tokyo <laughs> somehow. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, the um, aesthetics are very sort of. Uh, in- USA, but uh, uh, it's also quite you know quite quite a nowhere city. You know, it can it it can sort of be anywhere in the world. You know, if you sort of you sort of know what I mean. Um, yeah, I mean it's very stylized, right? So uh, it can it can sort of be like you know it can sort of be that. I, I mean, I'm talking about uh, that one episode where the um, uh, where it's it's, it's uh, kind of like a side story thing. Um, Oh, is this um, is this is this the story about um, the the office worker? Yes, yes, yeah. It, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't that good, but uh, I, I'm just trying to say that like they do try to do some unusual stuff, which you wouldn't you wouldn't see in Family Guy, and it's also I think this is also much more 
less safe for work let's say and i and i and i heard uh, i like yes. the music too some of the music was good i thought yeah uh, fly yeah, away yeah. I mean, no. oh my god uh, that's a bloody jingle is like stuck in my head <laughs> um do you want to explain why they are called uh, pantheon stocking the two main characters um yeah all right um well uh, <laughs> well um the uh, blonde haired one uh panty is called panty because because <laughs> when she takes her pants off she can turn it into a gun right and she can use it as a weapon and uh, stocking is called stocking because when she takes her stocking off she can use it as a sword yeah and um... that's why basically uh i don't i don't know if they were named this like um it's unclear if they were like if if they were called something different originally, be- you know, before they got their magical powers. But um, I like to believe they were sort of okay. divined to 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 uh, use to begin with. I see. Yeah, I, I think to begin with. I, I, that's like I my think, head kind of. I I, uh, I think uh, their names are Anarchy Panty and Anarchy Stocking. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> Uh, that was just yeah, uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. It's just someone you know closing the garage. I wouldn't, uh, it it, it yeah, sounded like sorry. something died there, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, also, uh, yeah, a, a cat was run over, but you know. The the worst episode by far, I think. Speaking of cats, uh, was when Chuck, um, the the one about Chuck, uh, you that that pet dog which can drive their car somehow. Um, yeah, yeah. Is it a dog? I thought it was like a weird zip sock monster sort sort of thing. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, it's a weird zip monster <laughs> thing. Uh, and um, uh, you, you know, the, I, I don't know what they were trying to parody because um, after a certain point, like every segment um, becomes uh, a parody of some, you know, either the Transformers or the Walking Dead. Oh, or whatever, or Romeo and Juliet or something. I mean, sometimes, uh, I guess it's... Uh, I mean, it's, the parodies are pretty on the nose. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't... I, I haven't watched most of the things which they're parody, parodying, like The Walking Dead. So maybe uh, there's stuff which people who have watched those things that they might notice which I'm not. Uh, but but I, I don't know I don't know uh, yeah now I remember they were parodying Back to the Future. Um, yeah yes they were. But but I, I don't know I, I I didn't get it I haven't watched Back to the Future so um, but I kind of know the plot but I, I didn't did you, did you see the the similarities or something what was going on there? It was um it was like I I feel like the, the um, only thing that was parodied was like the logo like uh, I did like to. Uh, it was um it was like very uh, vague um in a in his episodes with uh, well we, we, um those episodes were sort of from the uh, dog's point of view right um yeah I didn't uh, I didn't really get it like uh, I just I just thought like the the um, only thing that, that that they were really parodying was the logo um the uh, back to the fruit you know the uh, back back the back to the future sort of title letters um. Yeah, and um, I guess um, I guess like uh, because 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 the episode was split into many different parts, um, and in and in one of them it's sort of like uh, old timey, um, feet like themed. That might be it. But, uh, yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't really see anything like that. That was like a, a direct. Um, yeah, that was a um, direct um, parody. Yeah. Um. And another thing which I did, which I did not get, is why, like, um, so at the start of every every seg of many segments, I'm not sure whether it, whether it is every segment, but it, uh, like, uh, they would have like uh, uh, the name of the guy who wrote the screenplay and so on, like, 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 it, like it's a movie or something because they're parodying uh, um, movies. Um, but. Um, yeah, but by the way, I don't think you need to have watched. Uh, you need to have watched those movies. 
to get uh, like the hume or something i mean it it's like uh, they're, they're just making a, a reference for the sake of making a reference um yes yes it's it's not really like it adds anything deeper to the story um yeah um i feel like um i feel like the episodes where when when uh, uh panty and uh, um the uh, nerd boy <laughs> Yeah, geek boy. Yeah, geek boy. Yeah, geek boy. Yeah, go. Yeah, um, go to that party, and you know, uh, and uh, geek boy uh, does his. You know, um, he uh, takes his glasses off and does like you know, and, and does his hair nice, so, so like he looks a little bit like um, uh, DiCaprio. I think it is is it? It's, uh, yeah. Um, so they so they can do their uh, their uh, little. Uh, Romeo and Juliet's parody segment with with, with the uh, fish tank. Uh, yeah, I thought like uh, like uh, that um, parody was like pretty funny, but like it was just sort of funny because it was such like a blatant parody, you know, <laughs> sort of I thing. Did... And, uh, and it's not I as see... if like um, you know, you know, Panty like is gonna like fall in love with uh, Geek Boy anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, didn't she, she just let him um, fall to his death <laughs> yeah. after, at the end? Um, obviously, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah. Um, I, to be honest, I, I didn't know about that. Uh, that 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 scene with the tank, with the fish tank, was supposed to be like. Uh, a reference to that uh, Romeo and Juliet movie. Um, I mean, a lot. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, all right. Sorry, just some, just some, like <laughs> two literal dirt biters just, just to drive past me. <laughs> I see. Um, so I, I, I know. I think for for instance, uh, maybe the um, the Transformers thing would be, would have been less funny if you haven't seen the Transformers, but who hasn't seen the Transformers, like, anything yeah. about it, yeah. Yeah, everyone knows who the Transformers are. There's, uh, there's, um, there, there's a big guy, there's, um, Optimus, um, Prime, I, I there's, like, uh, there's I, I a felt... Ratchet, there's Clank, uh, there's, uh, <laughs> uh, I, 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 I felt like, like... Yes. It, it didn't uh, the Lady Vito voice what no uh, no I don't think so. Yeah, I know I know all those sort of, all those guys' names. There's nice. uh, there's a uh, Star Street. There's a uh, there's a Megatron. Uh, there's, uh, I think you... I think there's a yeah uh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna I'm not going to uh, dwell on this uh, bit for too long. Yes, yeah, so you go. <laughs> Um, did you feel like it was more a parody of um, more a parody of um, the movies, though, or r- rather than the series itself, the the Michael Bay movies, you know? Well, uh, okay, so uh, this was two thousand and ten, right? Um, how many of how many of of the Transformers movie? How many of the Transformers movies were um, would have came out at this point? Definitely the first one, right? Because um, I remember, like, I was like, "How old was I when, like, the first Transformers, like, the first Michael Bay Transformers movie was kept, like, um, the first Michael Bay Transformers movie came out?" I was in like, was oh, God. I would have so been like seven. Time, At the most, I would have been seven when when that film came out. So it would have been two thousand and six, and then and then it was like two years after that. So I would have been nine. So, so, so at least two Transformers movies. Were made be, um were made made uh, before um, 2010, from my knowledge, from from, from from my Michael Bay Transformers knowledge. Uh, so it could have been that, but but um, I just thought it was a sort of a a parody of the original series, you know. Um, it, just because of style, though. Though actually, um, hang on, let me like let um, hang on, let me just think, because um the uh, Megatron. In the episode, was it like the regular Megatron uh, design from from the animated series? It, like uh, that's a Megatron was the Megatron from 
the, uh, the movies. movies, right? Yeah, that, that's so, exactly what I thought, yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, oh, hmm. Uh, this uh, this has changed my perspective. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, uh, I still uh, I think it like um, it was sort of like um, making fun of like how stupid this like war was. You know, uh, the, you know, you know, uh, they were having um, like uh, it's like it's literally about like a robot race war. I mean, come on. Um. Yeah, um, I'll read it. I'll read the episode titles and let's see because I think that their older titles titles are references to uh, stuff, but I, like I didn't re uh, recognize most of them. For example, so the first episode, so it has two two segments, um, so basically two titles. Uh, so the title of the first seg segment of the first episode was "Excretion Without Honor." And you, humanity, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what that's a reference to. And the second segment was Death Race 2010. Uh, was there, I think I remember something, something like, uh, something with a similar name to Death Race, but uh, can't remember. It, it's a bit vague. Um, so the, the second episode, um, it, the, the segments of the second episode are called The Turmoil of the Beehive. Mm, no, not, nothing comes to mind. That's the first segment. And the second segment is Sets and the Dead and City, which is basically, yeah, obviously. Um, a, a yeah, reference yeah. To, have you seen Sets and the City? Because um, uh, if no, you have, but, um, I've heard of it. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it's, it's same with me. Obviously. So same with me because, because I, I kind of wonder like um, how much research did they actually do into this stuff? Did they just like um, like okay, we like the name, so let's let's just you know make the title a, refer a reference to that <laughs> that sort of thing. Uh, it, it's hard to say. Uh, the next one. In, um, it's, it's called Cat Fight Club, which is obviously a reference to Fight Club. Uh, yes. uh, yeah, and it was about um, Pantheon Stocking getting to a heated argument over a missing cup of pudding. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the one with the rope thing. Uh, I, I don't know if that... Yeah, that, again, I, I don't think that that has got anything to do with Fight Club. They just used, <laughs> they just called it a cat fight club because they they're just having a fight, a cat fight. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I, I don't like, I don't uh, really think any of these are, are uh, that deep. I just thought, yeah, I just think they're just sort uh, of parody for the sake of it. Um, yes, uh, the next part is called Pulp Prediction. Um, the ghost of vengeful sperm causes a shortage of tissue paper. I, I thought that that was ca kind of a good one, um, uh, especially the start of that yeah. segment. <laughs> uh, that, that was funny. I'm not going to lie. Um, I mean, it, and it's. I, I also kind of felt a, a bit guilty because, like, uh, <laughs> yes, go on. <laughs> They were basically um, making fun of um, uh, the, the landings in Germany, right? Um, and not necessarily. Yeah. But that, that's what came to mind, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, they were using the uh, correct landing craft, so. You know. Um, how how long did it take? Did it take? Did it take you to realize? That it was about sperm <laughs> um, during that segment. How, how how long did it take you? To, uh, because well, it, it, um, took, it took me over, it, like it, it, I, I didn't realize at first. <laughs> no, like uh, I kind of like I was kind of uh, um, suspicious when like every everyone was like pure whites, right? And uh, also what 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 the uh, the commander was saying, like. I'm pretty sure um, 
at that point I was like, yeah, like this, 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 this is just a parody uh, <laughs> for uh, you know for, for for the landings, but obviously instead of soldiers, it's uh, yeah, it's burn basically. <laughs> yeah, and um, uh, again, this one was called a uh, pulp prediction, but I don't think. Uh, which is obviously a reference to pulp fiction, pulp fiction. But I don't think, like, th- that it really had anything to do with pulp fiction, right? Um, no, no, <laughs> no. Um, the next one was called uh, the Diet Syndrome, which I thought was, uh, it, I think, it, I thought, was it good? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed that one. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, there were there were, there, were, there were some good moments, like uh, you know, with her stocking sort of bursting out of her, you know, her tower, you know, because you know she took oh. the uh, yeah, and, and, oh, yeah. and she's like she's like talking like like a you know really deep, you know, because she's you know basically yeah. like a, a human airship at this point. <laughs> yeah, and um, th- there were some some references to. To Ro- Rocky, of course, uh, because uh, stalking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When she's dieting, yeah. When she, uh, yeah, when she's, she's dieting, she goes jogging, and um, uh, the music which which is played is obviously obviously like um, a parody of the you know the Rocky, um, the, the yeah. theme which da, da, you find da, in the Rocky da, movies. Yeah. Da, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The yeah that one there uh, yeah that one and uh, <laughs> uh, yes and um, th- there was there was also a reference which um, I'm pretty sure it, it was a, ref- a reference to a rare reference to something Japanese which in this case was um, to um, to Ashita no Joe um um to basically. Because um, in Ashira, Ashira no Joe, basically, um, the two characters have to, uh, one character rather, has to starve himself um, so that uh, he can uh, remain un- in, in, the, in the same weight class as, uh, as his rival. Um, oh, um, oh, and um, uh, <laughs> you were, um, yeah, uh, speaking, yeah, um, also, uh, and I, I just, uh, um, I've just um, remembered this. The uh, bloody monkey episodes, where uh, where like the monkey gets electrocuted, and turns like and turns into like a um, monkey Felix Wright, you know. <laughs> I, I I thought that was more making fun. yeah that that was making fun of uh, Phoenix Wright, but also um, you know the the Jerry Springer type of thing. I think the Americans have also got one. The, the one which PewDiePie yeah. likes. Um, um, what was it called again? The one with the oh, bald guy. Uh, the one who who always says that he, he will send uh, people to to the ranch or whatever. Oh, well, Doctor Phil. Yeah. Yes, I I thought it was maybe kind of a parody of that sort of thing. Um, uh, well, well, yeah, it was like um, it was like, yeah, like uh, all the audience at home vote, you know, and uh, it's not like it's you know. It is very sort of a uh, rigged court um, because um, everyone every time is always going to press the red button because they're just going to let, like electrocute people, you know. Um, yeah, I, did, it, it, uh, it, I, I didn't really get like the the uh, Doctor Phil link, um, like Doctor Phil uh, link, but uh, I definitely got like it was it, it was making fun of you know uh, t- like these sort of like these are uh, reality TV shows where uh, you. you where like they let the audience vote? Yeah, but but uh, like, uh, isn't there like um, literally an, an American um, reality TV thing uh, where like uh, like where like there's this woman dressed as who is, who is an actual judge? Yeah, yeah, uh, Judge Judy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what what it kind of reminded me as well. Of, of, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I see that. I see that. But uh, it, it just cheesy. I don't. I don't think she would uh, allow allow a monkey into a into her courtroom. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, it, it was ki- kind of like um, the more like uh, uh, fuck you. Uh, and oh, by, by the way, the, what what about the other other 
uh, lawyer, wasn't he supposed to be the one who was uh, doing the, the one who was prosecuting, I guess? Um, it's Pantheon's talking. Uh, wasn't he supposed to be like a parody of um, Tom Cruise or something? Uh, or, or some other actor? Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah, like, uh, it's kind of like, uh, I mean, uh, that episode was like, like, uh, full of like so much stuff, like, it was sort of difficult to, to keep track of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, um, sort of speaking about, like, yeah, um, well, you know, sp- speaking about like, uh, things sort of moving around quite fast, uh, uh, like um, some like uh, I think um, a couple of times I had I had to like uh, I had to uh, rewind because I couldn't quite I couldn't quite read all the subtitles in like at once because like uh, the characters were just well, you know you know we're just talking too fast. Um, yeah, like uh, like uh, like uh, whoever or uh, um, who um, whoever voices Garter. Like uh, that's a voice actor can just like speak so fast. It's 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 so ridiculous. Um, but, but yeah, I feel like I feel like it's it's something you know about the uh, Japanese language where like they can just sort of get out words at like these like incredible speeds. Like uh, I think I think um, if um, in the in the NHK, um, if you want to hear like a Japanese person like speaking, like. <laughs> Um, ridiculously fast. Um, in um, in the um, in, in the Welcome to the NHK um, uh, like s- soundtrack, there's like a uh, there's a song in that where uh, um, where um, yeah, the guy uh, is like is like a sort of speaking like incredibly fast. He can like yeah. Anyway, anyway, but. I don't, I feel like, I feel I feel like, I feel like, like uh, this this is off topic. I think but, uh, I, um, I, did I think you, um, the, did this show like ever like move too fast? Uh, you know, uh, for you. Um, for me, mm, I mean, I always uh, not not just in this show. I always rewind uh, stuff uh, anyway. So, uh, but but uh, um, I've I've heard that uh, in Japanese, like, um, you can say you can say more things with with less words or something. So. And that's why you get the haiku meme or whatever. Uh, so yeah. So m- m- yeah. maybe that's that's why like um, that's why that's that's a lot of uh, subtitles. Uh, you could have all I got so uh, kind of related to this. I read um, a bunch of threads um, about uh, basically whether to watch the sub or the dub because I felt that uh, given that this is. Um, uh, this is making fun of a lot of American stuff, and and the art style is su- something similar to the Path of Girls, rather than m- rather than it being more anime like. So I thought that uh, maybe maybe it might be a better idea to to watch it with dubs. Uh, but 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 I've heard some conflicting things. Apparently, the dub was done by Funimation. Um, yeah. and I don't know. Uh, um, I didn't watch. Yeah, I I just watched the sub. Um, yeah, same. Yeah. Sort of um, instinctively, I would uh, like. I'd say the sub is better because, like, of all, like, of all the um, English, like, uh, f- um, throughout, you can see, you know, you you can sort of enjoy that too. Um, yes, I mean, yes. Like, so, I think that would just be lost in the dub. Yes, yeah, so some of the people. Um... In those threads, they did say that too, and and they also said that um, uh, the um, uh, they kind of went a little bit over the, over the top in in the uh, in the dub. So when I'm going to do a a, a write up on uh, on this for for my site, yes, um, yes, I'll yes. probably when, I'll probably watch... when 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 we do the um, inevitable discussion assessment. <laughs> I'll I'll probably do I'll probably watch uh watch this watch the dub before I do that. Uh, yeah. So, so that I uh, I can give an answer on that. Because on the one hand, <clears throat> I kind of feel like yeah, uh, it would be more comfortable to to watch this because this bit a dub because this is this is not a this is not a particularly you know a c- cerebral kind of show. It's uh, um, no. No, it, if anything, it's the it's the opposite of a of a cerebral. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so so maybe so maybe like um, it's more fun to just 
not have to look at the at the subs and just look at the action. Um, that's that's certainly what I felt with um, Black Lagoon, for example, and maybe maybe Cowboy Bebop as well. Um, but 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 again, like with those shows, like they are not they are trying to be not Japanese, especially with Bebop and yeah. And yeah. this and and, and Pantheon stalking. Um, let's yeah, yeah. see. It might work. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, oftentimes these like these shows can 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 get passed off as like as a you know a regular cartoons quite you know quite easily. I mean, like uh, <laughs> how many people thought like you know uh, Dragon Ball Z was just like a cartoon and you know what like you know wasn't originally an anime you know or or a Pokemon. You know, um, I, yes. I, I remember going to school with, with like a lot of people. You know, you know, um, when I was much younger, you know, um, who just thought it's you know, uh, Pokemon is just like a you know, Western animation, you know, Western animation, you know, because because it's because it's, because it's been dubbed, right? Yeah, you can it can, it can sort of get away with it, you know. Um, it's not some stuff isn't isn't all that different um, from regular Western cartoons. Uh, but I've also heard that the dub might be might be um, uh, censored, so like that, so like there's a lot of beeps. Oh, um, yeah, that, that 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 would be awful. With yeah. um, with the amount they they um, swear and things, I think I think that will just ruin it. It would just be <laughs> it would just get like beeping like every like ten seconds, I guess. <sighs> yeah, it would be kind of annoying. Yeah, it's I. I didn't have the time to watch uh, watch the dub, unfortunately, but for this discussion. But I'll, I'll so yeah, I'll tell you about it when when I watch it, if I have time yeah. after watching Gasara here as well for next week. Oh so, yeah, 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 Gazaraki. I need to. Uh, I need to stop watching that. Y- yeah. Um. So. The next one, so, so so that was called uh, that that episode about the diet was called uh, the diet syndrome. I mean, I can't, I don't know, is there some kind of movie with the word syndrome in it? I can't, I can't think of any. Can you? Um, um, no, um, not for not for for the top of my head. The next one is pretty obvious, though. Uh, high school new decal. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. But oh. I mean, I, I have seen, I, I have, I have unfortunately seen High School Musical. Yes, yeah, right. Well, you see, um, I have, I have, I have a younger sister. You see, same, same thing with me. Yes. So, so uh, yeah. <laughs> that means, yeah. so uh, that means at least like, at least once you have to see all like all of those films. The the uh, trilogy plus obviously the uh, spin off episode they did. Um. A- a- anyway, so uh, ha- having seen those, uh, did you see any? So so this was the episode about uh, um, Garter dressing up as G Man. I I don't know what the G is supposed to stand for. G string. I don't know. Uh. Anyway, and setting up this. Uh, uh, this marathon-like thing of uh, well, let, let me read it. Uh, so, uh, Devon City High School holds a lingerie run in which participants must race in their underwear. The run is interrupted by a ghost who eats underwear, including Panty and Stockings weapons. So Panty yeah, must yeah. resort. Yeah, you, you know, you know this episode I'm talking about. I do. I do. Um, like I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, um, when a Dettin goes out like disguised, uh, yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah. Uh, Dettin is. Uh, I don't really see him as much of a, as much of a character as like as a plot device. Really, I mean, who? What are you um, talking about? Uh, um, I think I just Garter. forgot his name. Garter. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so a Garter. Why? Why? What? Yeah, w- yeah. Why did I say Detton? I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, Garter. Uh, oh, yeah, Detton is the name of the because, city. Because it's, yeah, because it's Detton City. Yeah, sorry, I've just got I've just got a brain disease. Uh, 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 and, and, and I guess uh, and I guess Garter always begins begins his uh, monologue at, at the beginning of many uh, of the segments by, yeah. by 
by talking about uh, that and city. Um, so, so did you see any uh, any re- references or anything to high school musical uh, other than the fact that there's a bunch well, of there was, there was, you know there was like a um, blonde head girl with uh, with you know a bit of attitude you know that's obviously you know uh, <laughs> uh, 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 that might be Sharpay you know you know <laughs> you know uh, Sharpay from those from um, from those films. Uh, it's been a while since I watched them. Oh well, uh, yeah. well, uh, she was like she was like the rival, yeah, because uh, she could also sing good. So yeah, and she was like blonde as well. So I see. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's ca- kind of a trope uh, in stuff. Even uh, if you have if you have watched uh, Heather's, um, yeah. Yes, I have. I have watched Heather's. Yeah, which is yeah. like an interesting film. We should we should like probably talk about that film at some point. At some point, uh. Uh, yeah, make, yeah, make a note of it. Yeah, I'll make a note of it, and you make yeah. a note of it as well, and remind me later. We can talk about yeah, it. Yeah, well, because it's quite like uh, there's some stuff there that like that's quite interesting. If you want to, we could. We, if you have time, you could talk about it tomorrow. If you have time, that is. Oh God, I'm, well, well, I mean, I would have to rewatch that film. Uh, I don't. Yeah, think same here. Yeah. Um, no, you don't think? Yeah, that's yeah, all right. Yeah. M- I'd maybe I'd, I'd have to get hold Sunday. of it again. <laughs> I mean that's yeah probably yeah, yeah yeah maybe or maybe, maybe I'll just or maybe I'll just find uh, some like time in the week like you know on a on a on a weekday at some point. I mean you yeah, know, we I can, we, it would have to be, have to be the afternoon. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, yeah, it, it, that's fine. Yeah, uh, I mean after four, four o'clock or something if it's in, on a weekday. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll tell you if I get a day off or something. Mm. Uh, going back to. So yeah, I, I didn't really see any. Uh, I, I don't know. I it's it, it ju- I think they just wanted to parody the logo or something, and uh, I, yeah. I'm glad to see that they, they don't ca- they didn't care about copyright nonsense, uh, and they didn't get caught. Yeah, come to think of it, uh, what do you think? Do you think? Did you feel like I think, uh, uh, they were? I think I think that they um they um did did uh, they um didn't have to worry about. Copyright. About uh, copyright was um, was because it was uh, it was you know uh, parodying, and you know if you're parodying something, then like then then it then, then it's okay for copyright. Like you know you can, you can use it because it's sort of in like a a parodying yeah. context. Right. Yeah, but but, but, I, but I think I think when it comes to films, a lot of the time like um, it's not like on YouTube uh, where YouTube will say, yeah, this is a parody, so that's fine. No, it's it's more like you need to contact. All the uh, rights rights holders, um, and, and ask for their basically just tell them uh, like, uh, are you okay with this? Unless it, so that you don't risk being taken to court for it. But but I I guess um, this is kind of related to this other thought which I had, which uh, was um, I mean, did you feel like they were trying to appeal to a Western audience or something? Because I I kind of remember Gigak saying or like. It's probably just a dumb joke by him, given that we are talking about Gigak. That uh, oh mm. look, um, um, uh, they, they so they made this, uh, they made this uh, so crass, uh, so that they could appeal to uh, to Westerners, and it succeeded. Uh, like it worked because like um, Westerners are so crass, ha ha ha. You, you know Gigak. Um, uh, yes, so... yes, I do know him, unfortunately. <laughs> And uh, I, but 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 I, but I I just um I just maybe it wasn't Giga maybe it was some some other Giga clone because they all sound the same. Um, so um, yeah yeah I, I've uh, I've never I've never I never heard um, him uh, talk about this this um, series. Um, yeah yeah, yeah. You, you know and Anitubers they all like. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well. Uh, well. Um. Any tubers are like are usually quite similar to one another, unless you're, unless like your snob or like DG, I guess. Um. Yeah. I mean, but 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 even then, like you, you do have a bunch of uh, DG clones, but uh, I, I I yeah yeah. I yeah guess but but you know like he's you can you can still tell them apart. Yeah. It's kind of it's yeah. kind of difficult to to uh, replicate uh, DG's, You know. Uh, yes. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a chemistry. Let's yeah, let's it, say. It, um, I I guess it's it's a bit like with uh, Charlemagne and Endeavor, who all sound the same, but you, you can kind of tell them and turn it, but you can kind of tell them apart. 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, um, I can teleport to uh, Charlemagne and uh, Endeavor just because I've been just, like, I've listened to them both uh, for a long enough. Yeah, really. Yeah. Um, Endeavor yeah. has like has like has like the the, uh, the uh, deeper voice that's like a bit more a bit more coarse. Um, whereas like Charlemagne is like, it's still like a bit of a a bit of like a young boy. You know, he's still you know he's still a bit fresh faced. Maybe you know maybe in like five years time or like ten years time. Charlemagne now yes. m- might sound like Endeavor, you know, like like a uh, Endeavor is like is uh, <laughs> is a Charlemagne from like from the, from the future, yeah, 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 yeah from the future, <laughs> as the uh, as the meme goes. Uh. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so so uh, did did you feel like th- they were trying to appeal to a Western audience or or something? Because uh, I I didn't feel that way. Um, e- even though there there were all these Western things. Um, uh and uh, at least if they tried I, I i don't think that they succeeded so and i also think that uh, the reason why they didn't get into any trouble with copyright um a- again is because it was mostly a, just in japan and yeah, yeah like uh, i didn't i didn't really feel um like uh, served i i guess i don't i don't think that's the expression but uh, yeah, I, I, apart from apart from like the uh, media references, I like I can't really point to any like any sort of st- style. Well, yes, I, 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 I guess I, I guess maybe the art style, but that doesn't really count. I mean, like the, this some art style is used everywhere, really. This sort of simple, simple line drawing, you know, sort of over uh, over you know, not so simple, it, you know, uh, fr- you know, uh, frizzy, you know, much. Uh, um, yeah, I guess I guess um, I mean. You do see it in anime as well when it comes to like um, those uh, those like chibi chibi uh, shows li- like uh, the uh, isekai quartet thing where like you have yeah. like uh, all yeah, these uh, chi- chibi versions of all different uh, isekai characters all together or something in mm-hmm. high school or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like uh, yeah, like the the um, sort sort of simplified characters. Aren't like just like a Western thing uh, exclusively. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Apart from like r- random references and like and and the art style, um, I couldn't like I couldn't really point to like any uh, anything like uh, in particular. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like uh, I think I think I think that claim is, is a somewhat unfounded. So, like, I guess I I guess maybe if like you dug hard enough, you could you could maybe maybe, maybe find some supporting evidence. But uh, yeah, yes, I'm, and, not, I'm and, not too and, sure. Yes, and uh, I mean I, I guess uh, <laughs> I mean no if offense like, meant. If to... there was a push for like a uh, for like uh, a foreign market, like uh, if there was like an advertising campaign in like the US or something, that like th- then I would like believe it more, but. Uh, Yes, um, and I, don't, I, I don't really know. Yes, it, it, yeah, and besides, it felt more like uh, more like they were making fun of Americans rather than trying to pander to them, right? Uh, they, they were kind of making making fun of Americans for Japanese viewers. Um, and yeah, rather, yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's a comedy. I mean, it, I guess it's it's kind of. Uh, but but in a sense, I mean, they, they were kind of doing the same the same thing, uh, which a lot, which even things like the path path, path of girls do, I, I guess, because because they are American, but they are still making fun of Americans a lot of the time, like Johnny Bravo, mm-hmm. and, and and whatnot. Um. So yeah. Yeah. Well. Um, well. Um, nobody makes fun of Americans quite like Americans. <laughs> Yeah. Um, did Did you feel like uh, they were making fun of Americans for the same reasons that Americans make fun of themselves, though? Um, I don't know about that. I just, um, I just thought they just sort of um, worked off of like stereotypes, you know, like you know, like the, the Afro priest. Well, I wouldn't really call that a stereotype. I'll just say that's like 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 a, a character too. A, a caricature that sort uh, that's got um uh, that got popular for some reason, um yeah I wouldn't like um I wouldn't say it was like making fun of Americans sort of how they would because 
usually what I see when, when uh, Americans make, like make fun of themselves is it's not like they're making fun of themselves; they're just sort of making fun of uh, they're making fun of like a different part of America. Hang on. Hi. Right. I wonder. Yeah, hello. you're back. I'm back. Sorry, hello. that was just some car. I didn't want to like make it too uh, loud. Uh, yeah. Um, it, it, did you get what I said? You said that um, when Americans make fun of Americans, it's they're not making fun of uh, America as a whole, but just uh, a certain segment. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like you know, like um. SNL might, you know, are probably going to make fun of like the the um, political opposition, you know, or like or like Christians or or, or someone. They're never gonna, they're, they're never really going to make fun of themselves, right? You know, um, uh, but with um, with uh, with um, Pandy and Stockton, they just sort of made fun of America, um, or like or like select parts of it, but sort of in like a more random way, like oh yeah, let's uh, let's make like let's make fun of like this. Um, Priest character chill, um, but 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 some also let's just make fun of this like, let's make like let's let's make fun of their like high school system, you know, um, as well. Like it's, I thought it was, it was like fairly random, but uh, and and it was also um highly uh, it's sort of, it worked primarily from like very popular stereotypes, and um, you sort of see everywhere really, especially like the the uh, American high school. I mean. At this point, like um, I'm a I'm a completely sick of like the uh, American high school setting. I mean, like <laughs> it's like it's like every other thing like uh, on Netflix is probably like some like American high school if you sort of know what I mean. But anyway, yeah, why, I, why, um, I hope why, you sort of understand I mean, what I'm saying. Been what? Yeah, why? Anyway? <laughs> I'll subscribe to Netflix. Come on, why I'll subscribe to Netflix? Come on, why? Um, well, never mind. Can you still hear me? By the <laughs> The way I think I can, yeah. It's going can. into the red. The, yeah. Good, good. You're um All right. You're so, uh, um you're um you're going a little bit, but uh, it's it's fine. Um, a little bit on the edges. See, I. <laughs> mm-hmm. I see. Hopefully, by next time, I'll have some a better connection. All right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I. Uh, I didn't. I didn't feel like th- there there was any ill will or like preachiness or something. Um, no, 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 there wasn't any. It it, 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 it it was like uh, all like um, we are Americans and we are so cool and so over the top, blah blah blah, something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. It wasn't um, malicious either. Like uh, I don't think you know apart. <laughs> I guess I guess there's a there's a, a um, argument uh, uh, that uh, this uh, well I mean there's there's a very strong argument that that this series is um, incredibly you know um, what's the word um, fucking um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just, uh, uh, um, heretical there we go. It's uh, it's so incredibly um, heretical to to, um, to uh, Christianity, you know. I mean, you know, co- you know, uh, come on. I mean, I don't yeah. think. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, but yeah, like uh, I don't think it was uh, malicious. Um, the yeah, the the comedy aspect. Um, yeah. So um, I'd say like, um, providing you like over, you know. 15 or something and also um you um you're uh, not a christian <laughs> i would uh i would uh, recommend this maybe um i don't know yeah like, uh, I, uh, I, I i would send i would still like i wouldn't i wouldn't exactly recommend this i wouldn't i wouldn't rate <laughs> this series very um this series very highly just because of how uh sort of uh disjointed it is and, and, and I, I don't really get like emotionally invested uh that much yeah yeah basically um, what yeah. basically what what total what total asian means is that um if you are underage mm. don't don't get caught watching it um like <laughs> when your parents are around or something don't don't put it like on your dvd player um in in the living room uh because like it looks like a cartoon or something 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, not good. <laughs> Um, did you feel I wouldn't, like that? I wouldn't kind of sound the way you're either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. E- e- even if you are not underage, I wouldn't do that. Um, I-, I did li- listen to to the soundtrack a bit, like while driving, and uh, like yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And there was some m- morning si- suddenly. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh <my> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious how like. How the menu is like is like hard coded, hard coded into like it into the OST. That yeah, that's pretty funny. That's a pretty pretty all right OST though. Uh, if you ignore the morning or if you don't. Uh, did you feel I like think. there was so, some uh, Japanese self-insert character like uh, so that uh, like the, the average Japanese guy uh, blah blah? But you, you you kind of have it in every anime, right? Yeah. Oh, and in, except the except maybe the uh, cute girls doing cute things, uh, kind of sure. I, I guess the the closest thing to a to a self insert would be brief, uh, geek boy or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I feel <laughs> like I think I think you know uh, he's like he's so whitey and like like uh, so pathetic. I don't like I don't really know how like how many people are going to uh, relate to him exactly um even if even if they are like him you know I don't think, you know are you are you really getting to uh, self insert into that character i don't know <laughs> yeah and and besides uh, it's not a specifically um japanese guy looking self insert because like in a lot of like anime like uh, where where everybody has got uh, c- colorful uh, hairs uh, um, where like it's basically a Western setting. It might be like it might be somewhere like uh, I don't know uh, a, a, a a fantasy setting or something. A West a European fantasy setting, but the protagonist uh, is looks is is either literally Japanese because uh, he has been is is a kind, uh, there, but or just happens to look like that. Um, you, you know, you know that meme, right? Uh, like uh, the generic uh, anime protagonist look, or something. Um, and I, I didn't see it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How how they all look like um, incredibly similar. Yeah, and and they give like examples of like the um, protagonist from like Sword Art Online. You know, uh, um, Kazuma from uh, Konosuba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the um, protagonist, the um, protagonist from uh, ReZero. Yeah, yeah. They sort of, yeah. I know that. Yeah. I know that meme. Yeah, I've seen that one before. Uh, um, and um, th- th- there was uh, th- th- there was this episode um, where like um, um, th- they were they were kind of, so uh, the episode where uh, Pantheon stalking us uh, singing some song. I can't remember what what the song was, but um, and uh, uh, th- they make a lot of references to. Uh, di- different album covers and stuff, like for example, like uh, the one with the Beatles walking acro- across the road. Um, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, is, is, yeah. Isn't uh, isn't that segment just like just just uh, just just a straight up music video? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I um, thought so. Uh, yeah, uh, that was pretty funny. Um, did you? Yeah, it, it just turns into a music video. <laughs> Uh, did it ca- kind of feel like a bit? Um, um, wasn't there like ca- kind of a bit uh, um, nostalgia, like um, a kind of nostalgia, like feeling like, for example, if you if you have watched or read uh, Ready Player One, and I, I know I know that a lot of, lot of people say that it's shit or whatever, and to be honest, I don't really care about it one way or the other. But um, yeah, it's pretty shit though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't really care. Um, no, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, in I guess uh, um, when it comes to that, I was more thinking about like um, like how some people like it just because uh, there's a bunch of reference to stuff um, which was popular popular when when they were young or something. Um, did, did you did you yeah, kind yeah, of feel yeah. Did you kind of feel that with um, uh, with Pantheon's talking that that a lot of the things which are referenced 
I mean, some of them are new, I guess, like the Transformers movies and so on, but... Um, well, like, they're, uh, they're uh, new for you, but like for me, like they're not, they're, like, they're not really that new. Um, I mean, I mean, new in the sense of uh, new to the time when this was made, um, in 2000, 2010. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, I, yeah, I guess, um, I guess I did feel a bit nostalgic. I I would I, I, I didn't like relate it, but I didn't really sort of instinctively uh, relate it to, directly to the anime, like uh, because I just saw like I just saw it as like a reference. Yes, yes. I, mean, I, I, mean, I mean, yes, I mean, um, I I guess uh, I, what, what I'm ask, what I'm saying is that uh, like the person the person who back then maybe was watching the Transformers movie. Uh, would not be exactly the same age, same age to get the references to I don't know the I don't know the the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and, and whatever later on. So um, I, I I guess what I was kind of wondering about was uh, the age, um, how old the people so so who are making this uh, is um, uh, actually if you get what I mean like whether it's like um like like obviously they're going to make references to stuff to appeal to younger audiences but the people who make this are not going to be that young i mean the the, the people at gynets by then yeah, no. um, yeah, no. at this point like in the 40s like 40s like 30s 50s and yeah um, i mean arno is 60 now um yeah so yeah, so this was 10 10 years ago so yeah 40s at least um, I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't. I don't really. I, I'm not really such a big fan to like to know like uh, who the people in there are. Um, I, I, I think people like uh, Paz, for instance, do care about that sort of stuff. Um, which is why I think he said he prefers um, uh, Annie DB over My Animalist. Um, because Annie DB has a lot of information about um, the cast and the crew, I guess. I think it's yeah, probably yeah, 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 yeah. I guess um, yeah. the um, only really times like um, I seek out this information is when I like is when I've um, is when I've really enjoyed something, um, which doesn't really happen very often. Um, I usually, I, I usually, well, you know, um, unsurprisingly, you know, I find um, most of what I watch quite like, like a quite average. So like I, I just don't go out and. Um, do this research just like just yeah, you know uh, just because what's what's been made doesn't really interest me. Yes, uh, and, and, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, and, and another thing which kind of uh, came to mind was um, I, I remember how a uh, academic agent says that uh, like back in the nineties, um, like um, th there was this push uh, to get uh, girls to act more like guys, like to to, to be like uh, laddish. Uh, or whatever. Um, I I don't think I don't remember it that being there that much uh, around 2010 or so uh, when when this came out. So, but but it's certainly there. It's it's certainly there in this um, in Pantheon's talking, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so I mean, you know, we uh, um. Panty like literally acts like a uh, a uh, sort of alpha male guy, you know, so, sort of like a uh, a uh, player, you know. Uh, but yeah. you know, instead she's like you know she's a girl, you know. She's not like male, yeah. but you know, she, yeah. Yes, and and, and I guess uh, so. So so this was a thing in the nineties. Uh, like I, I think, I, I think like in in an episode, like uh, some characters joke, like uh, in the zombie episode, like uh, like uh, when they say that the angels, uh, the the survivors trying to get away from the zombies, the zombies say, no, they're supposed to be three angels, uh, because because of um, Charlie's angels, right? There are three of them. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Like, okay. I get that now. Yeah. I was like. I was kind of confused about like what like like uh, what they meant when I said that, but yeah, like that's like that's like such a shit like reference, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um. So I guess um, 
But Charlie's Angels also would be part of that uh, trend, right? I, I think it, it also came out in the 90s or early 2000s, if not uh, earlier. Yeah, mate. Like, I'm not quite sure how much they acted like men, though. Um, no, I, I mean, uh, not like men exactly, but like, or like um, um, you know, the girl power thing, uh, like a, a, anything a man can do, a hand do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah, uh, female warriors, yeah. Um, at least, you know, yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the kill build, kill build yeah. kind of thing. Um, so, so, yeah, uh, so, yeah. I, um, so again, like, I, I kind of think, like, th so they're, they're making a shit re reference to this because, um, I guess the people their age would get it because we, they were, um, I guess they were more, more into youth culture because they were younger. Uh, when that was a thing, more of a thing, uh, because when I yeah. think about when I think back about um, the early two thousands, um, uh, well, well, in anime at least, yeah, but I don't, I'm not sure whether it counts because, uh, uh, I mean, in anime, <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. Well, in anime, I guess you would still get the feminine thing. But uh, uh, I, I'm not. But, but that, that doesn't really matter because uh, we have to compare it to Western stuff, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Give me a second. Uh, um. uh, okay. All right. I'm back. Uh, and I don't know. Did. did yeah, I don't know if it, if I was even muted, but doesn't matter. Uh, can you hear me, by the way? Or no. Are you good now? Yes, no, you I can't can. hear me. Good. Yeah, I can. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as yeah. I said, I heard like, everything. Yes, good. <laughs> and there's fucking um, works inside here. It's really annoying. There's people yeah. working inside oh, uh, here. Um, yeah. it, it, and I was um, I was um, I was uh, talking with with a uh, posting uh, yesterday. Uh, just about random stuff, and <laughs> um, uh, but like um, my uh, my uh, mother was was a uh, was um, visiting, so um, uh, I saw I I um, ended the call with him right, and I and I put my phone in my pocket, but um, I didn't like. Well, I, well, um, I thought I left the call. Um, are you still there, student? Yes, yes, I'm still there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I thought I left the call, but um, it turns out like I just like closed the app and like the uh, call was still running. So um, Husky just like heard like that uh, family interaction, <laughs> uh, which was which was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, he um he um he was like he tried to be like uh, you know he tried not to be like uh, embarrassing about it, and he was just like, no, I didn't hear anything, but like. I knew he like he like heard that like entire interaction of like my mother coming in to uh, into our AM and just like requesting like she, like I, I make her a cup of tea, which was uh, yeah pretty funny. Uh, but but uh, yeah, there we go. These things just happen. Like uh, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Just, like you, you sort of forget I mean, to like meet yourself. I, I mean, <laughs> with 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 Husky, of course, like uh, you do get sometimes. Um, well, the, the first few times I was talking to him, like. Uh, like oh yeah, <laughs> there's like there's, with the husky there's like background noise all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a, 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 a random game of words because like some someone else is there playing playing some <laughs> online yeah. game. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, going back to the film. Hmm, let's see, what else is there to say? Yeah, uh, so I, maybe maybe it could also be that, um, because I'm, uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, the whole girl, girl power thing uh, was kind of like, to me at least it felt like, uh, I think that there was one one thing with girl power thing that, which, which I watched occasionally, which was uh, Spice Girls or something. Um, I, I don't know if you have watched it, uh, uh, and I don't know. The uh, Spice Girls. I thought I thought the Spice Girls were like were like a uh, 
bands like no no no, no uh, not like Spice Girl Girls no not not the Spice no. Uh, not not the Spice Girls, but but the one about um, three spies um, who work for for a British. Ca- uh, it's a cartoon, by totally the way. I can't remember. Oh my God! Hello yes, spies. totally spies. <laughs> totally yes, totally good. spies. Totally spies. Yes, there you go. Yeah, wow. and then, uh, I stepped in something interesting. Yes, uh, we are recording, by the way. Um, so I know. I saw know Craig. That. Yes, say say hello to Craig. Hi, Craig nigger. Oh God! What? I'm, uh, I'm not... I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm not editing that. Out. To... Uh, uh, well, I'm just going to upload it. And what happens will happen. I'm not bothered to edit this. Yeah. Um, it's not your I'm... fault. This is uh, this this is active sabotage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it I is. was secretly a leftist FBI agent fed all this time. Yes. Oh, uh, I, oh man! I, I don't think. Oh, like, yeah. oh man! But like, if that's true, like that would like hurt so much. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Good. <laughs> I hope I hope they pay you enough um, Filipino money or whatever. Anyway. Filipino <laughs> um, <laughs> money. Uh, dollars. So I don't know what what, what, what it is. That, um, the, the Americans for that, so it's probably dollars. Yeah. I, um. They better pay me in dollars and not pesos. I'd be so upset if they paid me in pesos. Now that's called rip. You're already selling your soul. Might as well sell it in dollars. Yes, yes. Uh, it's still fiat money, though. If you uh, if you ask the the, the, the lolbirds, but uh, yeah, they, they yeah, must well, accept it too. I mean, it, it's a literally is fiat currency. Um, but so anyway. Yes, I, I know you have been doing your research for the for the visual novel. Yeah. Yes, uh, I have. It's definitely fiat currency. Like, uh, if um if your country is trillions of dollars in debt. For uh, inexplicable, inexplicable reasons, then uh, you have a fiat currency. Yeah, I mean, Ooh. yeah. If if if, if, you, if you if if anyone has got any any excess fiat currency, they can send it to me. Um, let's see. Yeah. So what yeah. Anyway, totally spice. Totally spice. Yeah. I, so I guess um, the, the 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 point. Because we are talking about um, an anime called uh, Pantheon Stalking by Guy Nets, which, which, uh, which kind of, uh, um, I, I mean, like it's it's kind of a parody, parody of uh, um, it, the half of girls, but yeah. it's a lot, lot more. Edgy, Roger. I guess. Yeah, I remember um, that. Not, not edgy. Used to be I mean, all it, it rage is when edgy, I was in but I guess sexual. It's raunchy. It's sexual raunchy. would be a, the best way to put it. Raunchy. Raunchy, raunchy. raunchy yes. is the word you're looking yeah. for. Yeah. Raunchy. Yeah, good. Uh, I, I, I know. I, I, yes, I know. I already, I already used that word once earlier, so I didn't want to repeat it, but yes. Um, let's see. I think we talked enough about that. So let's go back to looking at uh, the titles and see if we can spot. So the last thing we, we, we were talking about was uh, High School Musical. Did um, you say High School Musical? And, and I think in the extra episode that you talk about, um, yes, yes, because the, the titles, and sometimes the plots of the episodes in uh, in Fantasy and Stalking are uh, parodies of... Um, Interesting. Yes, essentially, yes. American TV and film. Yes. I didn't. You didn't know that. I only even watched. It was I popular. only watched three episodes of it. Yeah, that's I the thing. A lot of it. Yes. Neither did I, because I, um, I, I must have. I also heard some people talk about Spantians talking back then, but I don't remember anyone mentioning, um, like, like that. The, the, there were so many um, references to, um. Western, um, by Western I mean American um, media, f- f- film and TV. So um, uh, yeah, uh, in the in the extra episode, uh, Total Agent, I think they, they kind of explain the backstory of uh, the ghost uh, in this one, which because it wasn't explained in the in the episode itself, and it was kind of boring. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about the ghost which which eats uh, underwear essentially. 
Yeah, like yeah, I think completely forgot about that as that storyline. Yeah, that that sort of goes with, wasn't really too interesting. Yeah, I guess because like you're more like uh, you're sort of um, more um, preoccupied with like um, I forgot his name again because you know, of course I have. I I always forget like everyone's names. Like if um, if your character does like it doesn't have like this like. Um, this um, ridiculous name, like I'm usually gonna forget it. Um, Are you talking about the orange-haired guy? I'm talking about the uh, the Afro Gotcha. Guy, you know. The priest. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Agata. Yeah. Like um, you're like um, you're sort of like more um, preoccupied about like what scars are up to, like uh, like uh, why like um um why on earth is this, is this priest that like at this high school like uh, tried to get like the students to strip naked. Uh, <laughs> Which is never explained, by the way. It's just like it's just something that happens. Like he, he tears up the skies, as like yeah. I, I mean this uh, this um, this this sort of adds to what to um to what I said about um about Agata being like this uh, plot device more than like a character because uh, he just like he just sort of he sort of um transforms into what he needs to be um at like different plot points you know different at different uh, parts of the series. Yeah, I mean, he's like a, like the guy in uh, totally uh, totally spies who like brings them the missions and gives them the, the guy essentially, right? His name's Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. He's been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. He's like Jerry. I've never, well, I've never seen it, this uh, totally spies thing. I see. I mean, it's all right. Um, yeah. It's, it's 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 episodic as well, uh, like uh, Bandy and stuff. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, well, most yeah. most Western cartoons are episodic. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And g- given given that, I think it's this, really this... only recently that things didn't become very episodic. Yes, with Netflix, essentially, because you you have uh, binge watchers, essentially, who expect a kind of a continuous plot, um, like a short story or something, I guess, within a series. Um. Yeah, I mean that 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 was basically what got me into anime over Western cartoons and stuff in a the plot. first place. Was the yes that there was a continuous story. Uh, to be honest, now I mean I think I can enjoy I can enjoy episodic stuff as long as it's not too long. Uh, for example, this this is just uh, thirteen episodes, though. Um, as Store Agent says, it, do, it does feel a bit longer because every episode. Um, has two stories in it, um, mm-hmm. t- t- so they defeat two monsters, I guess, um, in one episode. So, and it, th- that is also the reason why, like, every episode here has two titles. Um, and the title card usually is, is like a parody of some some Western thing, like um, uh, Back to the Future, Pulp Fiction, uh, or something. And sometimes the plot is also. Like we talked about um, the Transformers uh, movie parody. Uh, let's it's a see. It's pretty dated parody when you think about it. Pardon? That's a pretty dated parody now that I think about it. Yes, yes. But this came out in 2010. So exactly. the Transformers mo- movies, um, well, apparently, uh, Tor Agent says that there was at least one out by then. So well, let's um, see. At least. Uh... At least uh, two Michael Bay Transformers films uh, out at that point. I, I really yeah. didn't hate, yeah. hate those films like some people did. I don't know. Like uh, the, the Amazing um, 80s, for instance, like really, uh, really, really uh, hated them. <laughs> I didn't hate them too much. I just found they repetitive. Because they're, it's, they're yeah. easy. They're, they're yeah. easy hate bait. Yeah, like, um, I guess uh, I, I think... I think I've already talked about, about about the Michael Bay Transformers movies before, but uh, I guess I'll just I'll just uh, repeat myself. Like, uh, I think that I think the first trans like the, the first Bay film is like is fine. Like, uh, I'll go back and watch it. Like, uh, I won't like uh, I won't really complain about it. Um, but I feel like after like after the first one, there's a, a significant drop in quality. Um, mm-hmm. Until you like until you get to the fifth one, where it just becomes like unwatchable basically because like you can't really follow one to like to the storyline like things happen 
Uh, yeah. That, that's just like that's, a bit, that's just a bit my too much, take. Th- that's too much, that's much just, background noise. Um. Yeah, go on. It's oh, not me. Like, oh, is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, husky, yeah that's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, that's my take on the Transformers franchise. Uh, I guess. Um. I'm not like I'm not, I'm not like uh, offended by any of them. Like I don't really get angry over them. But uh, I guess I guess if you like if you force me to watch them, then like I might get like a bit angry because okay, because I do like I do think like the the last few are like pretty bad films. Um, to be honest, uh, uh-huh. really. I, I, yes, I've heard that it they got uh, so it got bad when they did the, the one based in Britain. And then it got w- much worse when they started to to pander to the Chinese because the Chinese like it, like uh, the uh, the movies. Um, yeah, like, uh, but I don't know. The, uh, these uh, films were like you know were uh, never like works of art anyway. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, um, yeah. Speaking of the parody, I, um, you know, I mean, they, they, they have a bunch of uh, I guess raunchy jokes. Uh, in there, and uh, I mean, they, they were there. They were there in the in the original. I mean, in the movie as well. So <laughs> I guess not much. Not, it's already a parody of itself, I guess. Um, yeah. Yes, it is. The trans- uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, um, interesting. Yeah. So, <sighs> so, so the next yeah. next uh, segment from episode five. Now we are on episode five. It's called Raiders of the Nets. Go of the the uh, yeah, why not? I mean, there's only 13. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I didn't we we will see now. how many we can get. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, yeah. So, uh, 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 we are just looking for references, essentially, if you can recognize anything. Um, Raiders of the, of oh, the nasal, nasal Dark. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, the, yeah, it's yeah. the dis- dis- uh, disgusting one. Yeah, yeah, like uh, uh, sorry, uh, I, I uh, think like uh, this um epi- this uh, yeah uh, Raiders of the of the Nasal Arc is uh, obviously a reference to Raiders of the Lost Ark, the uh, Ind- Indiana Jones film. Um, yeah, um, I I think of of all the episodes, like uh, this episode, like maybe like maybe uncomfortable, like uh, pe- people yes. p- people picking their noses, at, like until like their nose starts bleeding. I think, I mean, come on. Yeah, and and, and and yeah, and put putting putting each each other's not. Um, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's it's kind of weird of, of all the things. This um, yeah, it, it let's uh, the name of of that of of the ghost, uh, uh, Oscar H. Genius. I mean, is that a, um? Can, can you think of anyone anyone by, by a similar name? I don't think I can. But, uh, but it it, it, it yeah, kind of sounds yeah. like it might be. No, no. Right. Uh, so the the next yeah, one is it might be, but I can't think of anyone. Same here. The next one is vomiting point. Uh, um, vomiting uh, point. Uh, uh, vanishing mm. point, maybe. <laughs> or, is, is that a film called Vanishing Point? I think so. Um, though I, uh, I never, I've, I've never seen it. <laughs> yeah. Any, anyway, um, there's a big battle great here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so what? So what? So what's that one? I've forgotten. It's what I didn't know. Is one? Uh, I think I got. Like... It's the one. It's 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 it, yeah. It's, it's um. It's the one about uh, the 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 office worker Terao, um, where like uh, he he gets. Uh, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, sort you of know, really you know the one. one. Yeah, I quite yes. like that one. It was um. It was it was um surprising when like when like it came on um. And it didn't like uh, I I sort of liked how it didn't like it had like a happy ending, but like it wasn't like um, cartoonishly um, happy. Like uh, it's not as if like um, Panting Stocking like like uh, personally went to the uh, the uh, kid's house. Um, they just sort of like the uh, father just sort of like got like their uh, autograph or something, and then uh, he sort of gave that to her instead. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. it was uh, it, it was it was a good one. It, it it was kind kind of weird. I mean, it, that uh, like 
he, he was that old, but his his daughter was that young. That kind of seemed a bit weird to me. Um, yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, I guess uh, it was all right. It kind of reminded me of uh, Paranoia Agent a bit. Um, yeah, it did a bit. Though, uh, the uh, characters in like in Paranoia Agent are like are are actually better looking. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, they here. Yeah, I don't know. They kind of look like they were rotoscoped or something. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, they're obviously not yeah, not rotoscoped, but it, it, it kind of look a bit like that. Um, it's like uh, it's like uh, taking the fish people from like perfect blue and uh, and um, merging them with the animation of uh, of a paranoia agent, and that's what you get. Yeah, yeah. The, the cityscape did, did look nice. Um, yeah, it kind of reminded me of um, of that commie, that communist that I that I uh, share his videos uh, sometimes uh, uh, on the server. The, the one called uh, No Thank You, but it's No Thank You spelled backwards, um, because his main channel No Thank You is where he posts his uh, music, which I do not really get. Anyway. Uh, but I, because he um, said, was, um, was uh, that the guy who did the videos on uh, land? La- did he make a video on land? Uh, no. Nah. He's the one who made uh, that video called The Empire about Digibro. Um, oh, no, I don't think, uh, yeah, no. He, he, did, he did talk a bit about land, uh, um, but uh, I don't know if, if he made a. Separate video about that. Uh, and, uh, he, he's the one who uh, uh, sometimes complained, uh, some time ago complained about that he, he, he can't listen to this guy because he, he vapes too much. Um, he has an English hat. He's, he's, he, he lives in London, obviously. Um, anyway, let's move on. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah I know. I know. The reason that reminded, <laughs> that reminded me of him is that uh, 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 he did like a, this vlog thing and uh, in London, and he was like, uh, um, you know, uh, people sometimes compare like like, like a city. Yes, people sometimes compare. Um, I'll send you a link of maybe. Uh, um, people sometimes compare like. Like a, a city to, to like like a beehive or something, or uh, like you know, like you know like uh, oh look at look, look at the the bug men living in in the city or, and so on. But but it, it, in his view, it's the city is more like uh, more like a jungle. Um, they're like your other people don't really care about you, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. Anyway, let's move on. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. the next one is called. Um, uh, it's French. God damn it. Le da- Diaboliques. So, b- b- yeah, it's, it's episode six. The, the one where... Um, You'll run robotic a bit now. The Demon um, Sisters. Uh, Hello? <laughs> Are you still there? Are you still there, students? I can't, uh, I can't quite uh, hear you at all. Uh, Hello, hello. Hello, uh, to Tutor Asia. Yes. Hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> um, right. Um, so. Uh, you were so talking about the demon sisters. Uh, e, the demon demon sisters, right? Yeah. So yeah, it, yeah. it's it's the episode where they are introduced, and um, I mean, do, do I need to explain the plot? Who cares? Um, so 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 basically, they have this core. Cool, um, I, 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 it's, I think I, I kind of felt like um, um, this was like the peak um, n- narratively, and um, yeah, uh, yeah, I would, uh, I would say so. Uh, afterwards, the, the 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 second half, it's more like uh, it it goes like uh, more openly into like making parodies of like specific things. Uh, spe- you know, specific uh, intellectual properties, quote unquote. Um, you know, films, TV series, and then, and then at the end, uh, you, at the very end, you, you get uh, uh, the ending, which, as I said earlier, I didn't feel like 
it, it just it was just an ending of kind of nice ending, but uh, um, not nothing that great. Um, so yeah, I what think, I like oh, yeah, um, about if her memory this serves. Oh. Hello, are you still there? Yes, I'm still there. If, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, if um, if her memory serves, uh, this is like one of the few episodes that sort of uh, where it where in its story sort of um, covers uh, like the uh, full length. So like you um, instead of having like instead of having two stories per episode, uh, this episode just has one story, and it's about the uh, Demon Sisters. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Um, you know, it's you know. Uh, very classic. Uh, the uh, the uh, anarchy sisters turn up to school again, uh, but you know um, they're sort of um, they've um, been replaced as like as like the queens of the school with uh, with with the demons girls who who are, who are like them, but like they have like slightly different names and obviously they're demons instead. Um, yeah, yeah, and. Uh, up to that point, like um, the um, only thing they've been fighting is like these sort of lo- low tier ghosts, you know, um, uh, which is um, and obviously the uh, the uh, difficulty increase <laughs> for 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 a lack of a better uh, term, sort of makes this quite a nice sort of mid um, mid series uh, like boss um, for them to fight, you know. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it was um, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, it was um, yeah, it was probably it, it was probably like uh, this episode is probably the best episode in the series, and um, to to be honest, yes, I I would agree, and um, I also like uh, specifically I, I liked uh, the action scenes after they find the core uh, underneath, um, and they come back to to the so so the, so the core is underneath uh, underneath the school, uh, this this, this evil core thing yeah. which will help. help. Uh, I don't know. Um, and anyway, after they come back to the to the surface, um, the the fight scene inside the school, and it's very similar to the to the fight scene inside the school in um, Kill a Kill, but it's much better. Um, like, like they do all this, like turning the the camera around, um, and um, I especially liked uh, you know when uh, you know the, the two sock puppet things bring the cars, and then. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah, 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 the, uh, the, uh, the uh, driving the car around, like, yeah, the uh, driving the cars, like, around the, around the school halls and, like, up the windows and things, yeah, that's, like, really fun. Um, and, and, while, and, and, yeah. and at the end, like, when they, like, like drive over each other uh, uh, while a gear boy is, like, uh, <laughs> there underneath, um you know, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, because I I had already seen it um, in an AMV or something. Um, oh, I and, see. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I got to see it. You're yeah. you're uh, announcing yourself as a as a Sakuga fag then? Is that is that what's maybe, going on right maybe. now? Yeah, that, that's what. Yeah, but that yeah, was maybe. Yeah, okay. it's, uh, exactly. Yes. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was some pretty good animation. Yeah. Um, um, you know, sh- shoot th- them shooting through the windows. Um, yeah, let's move on. Um, so are you getting, I think I get to get any wind sound from me. A little bit, but it's all right for now. Yeah. Okay. All this. Okay. All right. Uh, so the the next one is uh, Transformers, and we already talked about that, ep- yeah, that yeah, episode. Yeah. Yeah. To death, um, probably. <laughs> yes. Um, and the, uh, so again, again, yeah. As you said, you are writing episode six. It is just one sec, one story. The whole episode. It's just th- that um, um, about ab- about them meeting the the, the demon sisters, Panty, Scottish Scanty and Nisox. Fuck's sake. Um, so <laughs> yeah, episodes seven, part two, I guess, would be the stripping. Uh, which, what was it about? Garter Belt gets angry at uh, Panty and stalking for wasting money, so the sisters make a bet to raise three million dollars in three days. Oh yeah, the, oh, the, yeah, the one yeah, the, 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 the casino. casino. Right. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. That, 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 yeah, that was an alright one. Um, I guess. Um, yes, yeah, that's alright. No, nothing awesome. Yeah, or anything. they like that. Yeah, they just go to a casino and win money, basically. Uh, 
<laughs> what uh, actually? Um, I guess uh, uh, the um, ghost they had um, underneath the casino that, that was like that was like eating the money, uh, and like it was it was sort of like a um, a big pyramid, and like it had like it had like a pyramid on top, and like that pyramid had like a big eye, you know. So it looked like the the um, maze. Sorry, the the pyramid you see on like the back of a dollar bill. I, see, uh, I, I, I thought, thought you. I thought that was like that was like pretty um, clever. Um, yeah. I, like, I, I, yeah I, oh, I, 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 I didn't realize. I, I thought I thought it was just supposed to be a turd, but apparently not. What? Um, no, 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 no. It's like a, it's like um, like like a pyramid sort of thing with, with like a big eye, like uh, like uh, yeah. As I said. I see. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, so I, I guess Gynets must be working for the Illuminati. After all, yeah, um, yeah, or maybe, yeah. or maybe, or maybe they're like exposing, you, you know, they're uh, exposing. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, maybe that's why Gainets is, isn't a thing anymore. Uh, yeah, I mean, exactly. You, you know, after after all that uh, sneering about like um, a secret cabal trying to destroy the world in in Eva, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do, uh, if um, if um, Anno came out as like a Mason, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh, uh. What about the title? Uh. The stripping. Does it re- does it remind you of anything? Um. It could be anything. Like the like the shining. You know. Um. You know. Etc. Uh. There were. I don't think it I was see. a uh, yeah. reference to that. Uh. Yeah. yeah. That, like that one was like pretty uh, open. Um. I- yeah, I, I did. I did kind of like that. Um, Panty and Stocking were actually able to get the get the money <laughs> because I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like yeah. if, if this if this was something like the Pop Up Girls or something like uh, like there would be this lesson at the end that oh like oh no uh, <laughs> <laughs> going to the casino doesn't work like and we have, you know that that sort of thing. Um, yeah. The next one is called Off the Dead. And obviously, it's about uh, uh, the Walking Dead, and I, I mean, it's it's a parody parody of that. But I mean, it, uh, I guess it it is parody of that. Um, I oh, I don't think it's just a parody of the Walking Dead. I think yes, it's yes, I know the dead because it's of the dead because almost a lot of there's a lot of George A. Romero films that are you know insert name of whatever of the dead Dawn of the dead. Uh, I, 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 mean, I guess of the dead. So it's just yes. like an overall parody of Romero zombie flicks. I see. I see. Um, yeah. Yeah. Probably. And, but uh, I would also also like to add that uh, the style the styling of the title, like they, they have styled it to look like like the like the title card. If I don't know if it's if if you call it a title card, but you you, you know what I mean, right? Um, you know. Um, the logo thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh, no, uh, no, I mean the yeah the uh, lettering. Yes, the, the lettering exactly. It it uses the lettering of um, the title, which is normally used for the Walking Dead. And I haven't really watched it, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't really. But uh, it's um, it does like um, there are like a a lot of like obvious um, archetypes. It like it's a mix of like. Uh, the um, guy who uh, nobody sacrifices himself, but but you know uh, he makes sure that uh, yeah, and uh, onlooker he... um, you know um, writes his memoirs you know about his about his tragic you know about his tragic sacrifice you know uh, yeah yeah like uh, yeah that's pretty good. I I also felt like um, like at the end um, of this section, like they are still zombies, right? So yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> The, 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 so it it kind of uh, there's no res- resolution at the end, um, which no, there isn't. Uh, there isn't. So, so yeah. it, it, it kind of brought me out of it a, l- a little bit because you can kind of assume that there's some kind kind of continuity between the ones before, but from this yeah, one, yeah, and yeah. it's it's sort it sort of pointed out as well, like in uh, in a previous episodes, um, I think like uh, somebody says like something was done like a few episodes ago, so. They make these sort of um, self-aware, you know, uh, postmodern jokes um, beforehand about about like things happening in the past. Um, but yeah, the uh, the zombie uh, the zombie continuity is just ignored. Um, yeah, yeah. 
which is sort of what I talked about. Yeah, it does. Um, it does take you out of it, like uh, sort of thinking, you know, because uh, that's always going to be like at the back of your mind, like, uh, oh yeah, what's 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 going on now might might not matter, right? Uh, which is which is a problem with uh, these 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 episodic um, formats. Yeah. Uh, so y- yeah, uh, the next one is uh, one angry ghost. You, do you, do you, uh, does that uh, ring in any? I mean, anything? Did, does does anything come to mind? Um, um, there was um, there was a film like about like twelve angry men. Uh, I might have got the number wrong. Um, but it's like yes. it's a film about uh, these guys um, convicting um, a like young man who um, who 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 may or may not have um, murdered someone, and and slowly um, they each get sort of um, convinced otherwise. Um, but yeah, I, I think, it's, I think basically, that's what it's, yeah. a, it's a reference to. Yeah, yeah, I, I've seen that that leftist film. Yes. Um... <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it kind of did feel like that. Like I don't know. Like uh, when one guy was uh, racist or uh, whatever. Like everybody t- turned the other way or something. <laughs> so, so dramatic, uh, which kind of took me out of that film. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Mm. But but it's it's still a nice film, and I think uh, they did is, a yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that film, there is a um, it does bring up some good points about like how to argue with someone. Like you don't like you don't really want to get into a fight with someone if you want to if you want to change their minds, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, uh, back yeah, I to mean, the I'll... main topic. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, one last point about that. Uh, also, as a film, yeah. I kind of did like did like that. Um, like how how they're able to like say a story, but like essentially for the most part, just within one room, and it was still interesting. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Unlike, uh, unlike other, other, other stories that 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 I'm not going to mention. Anyway. Good. So, so what was that about? It was the oh yeah, it was the court episode, I think. Uh, yeah. Um. So yeah. Oh, yeah. As you, it, so it could be, it could be a reference to that because it's still in a court, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think but it is I, a, I don't know. Yeah. It, it is. I mean, is is, is it just uh, is it such a popular film because because all of the other films are like um, pop uh, pop fiction pop, pop art or whatever uh, c- kind of stuff? Uh, uh, yeah, like pop well, fiction. Yeah, it was um, it it um, was quite influential on on a uh, lot of other things and uh, this is like uh, I mean this series also you know uh, referenced uh, you know. The, um, the Rolling Stones and uh, the Beatles, so it, it's kind of it's sort of in that that um, time bracket too. So uh, yeah, I just see why not. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but but I mean, I mean the the Rolling Stones and the Beatles like have much more rec- yeah, yeah. Rec- recognition. Yeah, they're uh, they're a lot more like normie. Yeah, I get that. But yeah. I guess maybe you know maybe they maybe yeah. they just wanted to throw in a um, obscure reference, which is mm. fine. Yeah, good. That is good. Uh, you know, like uh, confuse the normies. Uh, but to be honest, like I, I'm not like a film buff or anything, so like most of the references that are in this already just went over my head. So <laughs> the next, uh, yeah. So that that was the trial. We already we already kind of talk about it. So let's move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. We did. Um. So we are uh, on to episode nine. So yeah, uh, yeah. We are reaching the end. Um. The first section is called "If the Angels Wore Swimsuits." Mm, nothing comes to mind. If the angels wore. It was a beach wore... episode. It was uh, a beach uh, episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Little... <laughs> what a bo- what a lazy name. Um. Uh. I, yeah. Was it shit? Uh. Maybe it, it wasn't that bad. Um. It it was definitely one of one of the weaker episodes. Yes. Though. Yes. It was, it, least... was, it was just the it was just the uh, obligatory beach episodes. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, um. Yeah. I, yeah um. And, and anyway, like, it wasn't the whole episode. Uh, just the first half. No. The it second was, half. It, it wasn't. No. Yeah. Uh, the second half of the episode uh, is titled uh, "Ghost: The The Phantom of Dayton City." Uh, that sounds like a reference to something, but it, 
Nothing comes Phantom to mind. Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. I see. I... Uh, so, uh, I'll read the synopsis. Stalking falls in love with a repulsive and ill-man- ill-mannered ghost. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this one was, was, was very funny to me. Like, um, oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, but... yeah. This, this, this one was good. So, yeah. <laughs> So, so basically, uh, they are looking. Panty and Stocking are looking for men, um, what, uh, while look uh, with binoculars. Uh, yeah. while, I don't know. Bin, bin, yeah, bin, right, through the binoculars. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, basically, uh, uh, Panty will uh, basically sleep with any kind of brainless jock kind of character yeah 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 uh, i think i and, think in that uh in that arc she like literally says yeah i slept with him just to make sure <laughs> yes and and and, and stalking is like uh, uh so, so, so 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 basically stalking makes fun of a panty for this or something or rather complains about it and so, uh to which panty says then uh, ask um stalking then like uh, then, what kind of ma- ma- man would you like? Uh, what, what or something like that? To, to which, uh, <laughs> to which Stocking replies that uh, like you, you wouldn't even un- understand my <laughs> uh, my uh, refined uh, t- taste as, uh, <laughs> in men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, which is true. <laughs> and and then of course. Um, of course, the the guy. Um, would you describe? Uh, so so basically, stalking falls in love with this ghost. Um, so would you describe the, the ghost, the the refined taste uh, of uh, other, um, I don't um, know, sweets loving uh, got uh, with big tits. Yes, yes. Um, imagine imagine a human sized slug. Um, who can't stop farting, uh, and uh, <laughs> and, and like has like, and so when he breathes, he makes people he makes people throw up. Um, he's also just he's also just generally an asshole as well. Yeah, I knew a guy like that in high school. Holy shit! But he wasn't an asshole. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's right. what, that's what the that's the thing stocking falls in love with, um, which is yeah, which is pretty funny. Um, yeah, there's a there's this there's this great cut, uh, you know, um, where 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 they make sure to like animate her face in in that realistic way, you know, and um, they um, make her like as beautiful as possible, and then <laughs> and then and then it sort of switches uh, to um to. Uh, this like slug man, you know this this uh, slug ghost who's just like breathing over people, like like, like making them throw up. Uh, yeah, yeah, which is uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty good episode. Yeah, yeah, it, it was pretty good. Um, I I don't think we need to spoil the uh what the twist is or whatever. But um, um, um have you watched uh, this uh Phantom of the Opera thing, which uh, um, which um, Husky's talked about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this um, this episode is this episode is nothing like Phantom of the Opera. Um, yeah, it's much it's much different. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think they even go to an opera in this in this episode. I see. So I, I, once again, the title has got nothing. Or maybe we don't realize what the reference is to. Uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty nice. Uh, uh, and it was pre- pretty funny, and uh, it had a good, good ed- ending as well. Um, so that was uh, the second section of uh, episode nine. So episode ten, in a brief, the first. I think it has three sections. Episode ten, um, and the first section is in a brief, and it's about uh, Pantheon's talking are sh- shrunk and down. Ah. Um, and go yeah. inside briefs, but you you liked it. I didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 right. yeah. It was a good one. Like uh, they just they just yeah. sort of get like they um, get inside him and 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 they just like fuck around basically. Like, like absolutely absolutely no respect at all. You know they just uh, yeah and uh, and after, and 
after they burst out, <laughs> they're like they're like uh, talking about like how like great it was, while uh, while like you know, uh, brief is just like face down on like on like hospital beds, like uh, holding his ass on the basically. floor. Uh, yeah, on on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think, yes. Yeah, and, yeah, it's uh, pretty funny. Yeah, but 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 then he's like, uh, uh P- Panty, why are you so mean? Uh, but but I still yeah. like you. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you're so mean, but I still love you. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's, yeah. It's pretty good. Like, um, it's not very long either. It, yeah, it gets to the point. <laughs> yeah. Um. I I think this is this is kind of, kind of the point where it, where I, re- I realized that uh, um, Garter Garter Belt uh, is into little boys, maybe. Um, let's see. Let's move on to the next section. So, Chuck to the future. Oh, I really hated this one. It was really boring. I, I don't know. I, I think they tried to make it um, suspen- suspen- oh, fucking suspenseful. Um, uh, so, so uh, the description which they have for that section was um, um, the second part is a trilogy of shorts starring and Starring Panty and Stalking Spet sidekick Chuck. That's all they have there. And I, uh, what what the hell was that about? Like, there's a guy, there, there's a guy, there's a little demon thing inside Chuck's head and inside uh, the, yeah. other pu- the other the uh, other pet puppet yeah. Uh, of, yeah, yeah. Of, of the demon. Demon sisters, and then yeah. they, they, they I, get out. I and... have no idea, <laughs> but you know, in the end, they get they you know they get the happy ending, and they uh, and and they fall in love. You know, uh, they're I mean, those, like <laughs> little people inside of them. Like uh, I'm not quite sure how like what's going on there. <laughs> and yeah, I think it's just sitting in a sofa inside its head, uh, and they start. Uh, uh, fucking, uh, in, uh, like right in front of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of the now, uh, brain empty, emptied Chuck's yeah. open eye. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. <laughs> yes. But, uh, so the, 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 the final part, um, of uh, episode 10 is, uh, help via angels. Uh, the third part is a music video featuring the main characters and performing D D C T Rock featuring uh, De Brasil. I, yeah, I think th- I this thought, is the one. I thought I yeah. thought it was a it was a decent song. Yeah, yeah, same, it wasn't yeah. that bad. Um, yes. it was you know it was it was very debaucherous, but uh, yeah, it, it was fine. <laughs> uh, was it? I can't. Rem- wasn't it just them going around the world or something? I can't remember. Well, yeah, but you know, uh, Panty also su- also talks about sucking the audience's dick at, at some uh, point. Ah, yeah, and, yeah, no, uh, I remember. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was uh, said, said, unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Um, let's see. Uh, so now we are up to episode eleven. So the first part of episode eleven is called um, "Once Upon a Time in Garter Belt." What, what the hell is a garter belt anyway? Do you know what that is? Uh, no, I don't know what a garter belt is. It might be some like weird like um, BDSM shit or something. I, I don't know. Yeah, some kind of underbelt. I'm, prob- I'm probably wrong about that. Um. <laughs> yes. And, and uh, in Japanese, it's uh, Gata Beruto, by the way. Gata um, Beruto. Beruto, but Beruto, uh, like Gata, Naruto. Gata Beruto. All right. Uh, so, once upon a time, is, is that a film? Gata Beruto. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Oh yeah. God. Okay. Garter belt. A garter belt. Have you ever looked at the legs of those made drawings and you see this like strip? Oh. Between. Yeah. 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 That's mm-hmm. a garter. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, but, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, um, wasn't yeah, he uh, that garter like he... literally wearing one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Does. Like him. Um, oh. Okay. So. So. He's called garter belt because he wears a garter belt. I. Yeah. I see. It it all makes sense now. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Husky, uh, Husky here to enlighten us about about uh, yes. lingerie, yes, yes. I guess. Uh, yes. It's good. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, he's he's an artist, so of course he would know. Um, let's see. Um, it's better so, seen in person. Good. So, Once Upon a Time in Gata Belt. So, uh, is, is there some kind of film called Once Upon a Time or something that you can think of? Um, Once Upon a that, Time in China, I think. Once Upon a Time in China. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, I is, it a, like... is it a... Oh. It's an American film. I would have said like uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but uh, I don't. I, I don't yeah, know yeah, when that, that film came that out. Too. There's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Once Upon a Time in America, which is in 1984, and then Once Upon a Time in China. I see. So Once Upon a Time uh, in China is like a Chinese. I mean, maybe a Hong Kong film classic with Jet Li. It was one of his debut films where he's like a kung fu monk. I see. So anyway, this is, this is uh, Garter Bell's uh, backstory. What did you think of it, Short Agent? Did you also fall asleep like Pantheon Stokian did while listening um, to... Uh, I don't, I don't, not, no, not really. I don't know. It was, it was uh, pretty exciting, you know. Uh, he, he was like uh, a kid on, on, on the mean streets, you know, in, in uh, the hood. And yeah. then, you know, after after he reaches the top, he gets uh, he gets like uh, killed, and then uh, and then um, God or you know some like holy force um, calls him back, you know, so so, so he can uh, he can like uh, um, he can uh, repay for you know for his sins and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't boring. So so yeah, I think he basically gets sent back in time. When they have a dinosaur yeah. or something, and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like back in time of the dinosaurs, yeah, he, like he like meets uh, Adam and Eve, uh, yeah, yeah, again, uh, very um, heretical, but uh, but uh, anyway, uh. yes. Um, let's see. Hmm. Um, did you did you get what, what the hell that arrow was about? Uh, obviously, like it was like um, he was a message from God or something. But but like at the end they show the arrow inside the diary. Uh, but do they explain what the hell that arrow actually is? What what did, what did it mean? Um, no, I don't. I don't yeah. remember. I see. All right. Um, nothing to. No, no, no. So the the next one is called. Um, uh, yeah, and, and this, this, this is also where he's revealed that um, Garter Belt is into BDSM stuff. Um, right. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. And uh, nothing to room. Um, yeah, or oh, in Japanese, uh, nashin to nashin to rumu. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that Do because, like, English? Yes, I know, but because like um, uh, he, he, like you have a transcription here, uh, which yeah, basically that's what it reads. Um, blah blah blah. Anyway, so what was it about? Panty and stocking spent the entire day in the room, in their living room, discussing various things while waiting for Gartabel to make them dinner. Uh, I kind of found, oh, found yeah. this one pretty all right. K- kind of, uh, yeah, kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was comfy. Um, yeah. It was comfy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they just uh, they sort of yeah they um, end up like ordering way too much food because they you know because they get like impatient with uh, with a garter and then like <laughs> and after 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 they've like filled the room up with pizza and then God comes in with like five trolleys you know of, of like a full buffet <laughs> and then and then the God says to them. Um, if you leave a crumb, you know, the, the, and nowhere, uh, he says something like, uh, "I don't, I, I don't, I don't want you to like leave a crumb," uh, because uh, it's something like um, food shouldn't go to waste. Uh, and so, uh, Panty is talking like just like bas- basically eat them, like eat everything, and then sort of you know, and then in the end, they're just like, "Man, if I eat like another pizza, I'm gonna die." Yeah, yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, Obviously, um, I'm uh, retelling it now, and it's you know, and uh, I, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'm exactly, I'm, I'm exactly capturing the the essence yeah. of. Uh, I, I think, of the episode, I think, the, yeah, you know, yeah, it happens. 
I think the, the punchline was kind of supposed to be that um, basically Brief, brief uh, comes in there and says, like, uh, um, like wh- wh- why, why can't you be grateful uh, to, um, to, to Gartabelt? Because, like, Gartabelt is, like, spent cooking, cooking, cooking um, like, uh, this feast uh, for you, like, even if he's taking time. Uh, yeah, because, like, yeah. he, he wants to reward you for, like... Uh, a job well done or something and but by the end uh, they're kind of kind of uh, uh guilty not not really guilty but you know like uh, kind of apologetic about it um yeah 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 they're, they're but, sort of yeah yeah they're uh, they're having they're, they're having um they're having uh, regrets about uh, ordering food and then like eating a full buffet <laughs> yes but, but but then it turns out that um the reason why he was pre- preparing this this feast was not uh, because like he was like as a reward or something, but uh, uh, or, or as a gift or something. But it, it was because uh, his afro was voted um, the best afro um, haircut or something, but by, by some I don't know the fucking well the afro equivalent of the of the red headed league or something. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. It's a yeah. It's a pretty uh, simple episode. Um, yeah. Uh, and um, uh, the 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 key thing about this episode is that uh, so they they are watching TV and like the, the camera, I guess it's is placed where the TV would be. So it's like we are watching them watching TV, sitting yes. in the in the living room, changing channels and eating and stuff. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Oh. Uh, I, I guess I guess the the Path of Girls also that does have episodes where like it's it's about the pop, the Path of Girls on a day off or something. Um, so yep, they have cool. a lot of those. Yeah, this is basically that. Um. So do, 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 do. which episode are we on now? <laughs> episode twelve. So okay, just okay, we're, we're 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 almost there. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. So. The next one is um, uh, DC Confidential. Yeah, DC, D- what do you think that refers to DC Confidential? Uh, so that it's I don't, D, I don't uh, D dot C dot uh, and then Confidential. No idea. Um, so Scanty and Nisox uh, report the results of the unsuccessful of the unsuccessful unsuccessful battles with Panty and Stocking. Uh, oh, uh, this was, uh, yeah, this, uh, this, this was the recap episode, yeah. Uh, I think, I think this was the worst one, just because it was just a, like, most of it was, most of it was just a recap episode, and, uh, like, the main yeah, villain is sort of introduced, uh, yeah. Yeah, c- c- kind of a bad way to introduce him, I thought. Um, kind of lame. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, he was a pretty lame villain overall, I thought. Um, uh, yeah. When, especially when you compare it to the to the entrance, which um, his minions, um, uh, Scant, Scanty, and Nisox made back in episode six. Yeah. Uh, so the second part of uh, episode twelve is uh, Panty plus Brief. Uh, is this supposed to be like a parody of um, Romeo plus Juliet? Uh, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that um, film. It was um, it's it's quite a weird film because it's set in the modern like it's sort it's um a um, contemporary it's a um, contemporary film, but um everyone talks uh like uh in the uh, Shakespearean way so like everyone will be like uh, um thou um or or um nine hearts doth uh beats. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, that is, that is yeah anyway, you thought, yeah, you sort of get what I mean. Um, but yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought it was a pretty good parody, yeah. Nice. I know where, um, yeah, and um, that's a that's a Robbie and Juliet film, it was all right. Um, I think, I think this uh, this episode was was probably better than the film it, it was parodying there, anyway. Um, I, see, I yeah, mean, I guess, I, I guess, I guess, uh, it, yeah. So um, in the end, um, Panty ends up losing her powers, right? 
uh, which is like which is actually like a pretty good um, part of the series because you know you do, you um, you um, do yeah. sort of feel some tension and uh, and the stocking sort of yeah. falls back into uh, heaven. Uh, yeah, because yeah, you know, that, that, yeah. that was good. Yes, but um, um, yeah. yeah. So, so it, uh, I guess it kind kind of um, the ending ending was kind of uh, more more panty centric. I I I wonder what what the hell the, the, the people outside are thinking that I'm t- that I'm talking about like panties and stockings. Um, yeah, yeah. Just um, <laughs> we're uh, anyway. just talking about some debauched Japanese cartoons. Don't worry. <laughs> They, they, they can't hear you because so, yeah, I'm wearing headset. But um, anyway. Oh, I um, see. I see. Yes. Put, put me on loud. No, 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 don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all right. Um, um, let's see. What was I going to say? Yeah, um, I, I kind of felt like the ending was uh, panty centric. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was. Uh, yes. Um, Yes, but um, hmm. uh, about the Shakespearean thing, I would say that I guess it was a good thing that they, they didn't try to have like the, the characters uh, in the parody try to talk in a Shakespearean way as well. Yeah. Um, I disagree. I think that would have been very interesting. It would have it would have been very weird, like uh, yeah. in the in their Japanese accents talking, yeah, in that sort of dialect. Uh, you guys do know or, that or uh, Japan best, has say. theaters. Japan has theaters dedicated to doing Shakespearean plays too. They they just speak in a much older form of Japanese, I guess. I don't yeah, know. yeah, that, that's probably what they would, they would they would have done. But um, they would have, I guess, they would have had to have an explanation here, uh, unlike in the in the original movie, um, because they are not normally talking like that. Whereas in the original Romeo plus Juliet movie, they are already talking. Um, in a, I guess, uh, old fashioned. Not, yeah, it's more than old fashioned. <laughs> um, let's see. What else is there to say about this episode? There was something else that I wanted. To... Oh, yeah, now I remember. Uh, so you 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 said that like oh like it it adds tension. Uh, the fact that Fanti lo- loses her powers. Um, and yeah, but but the the way that she, she loses it though. Was kind of funny to me, like uh, um, yeah, Virginia's yeah, yeah, yeah. Re- regeneration, <laughs> hymen, hymen. <laughs> oh, we, oh we say that, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Um, will, will you explain how she she uh, she loses her powers and adds uh, t- tension? No, it's fine. Let's move on. <laughs> yes, um, I guess I already kind of did. If, if yeah. Can. But uh, they probably don't won't un- understand what I'm t- saying anyway. So I didn't explain it properly. Um, yeah, but basically she loses her powers because uh, she regains her virginity and uh, um, somehow... Um, <laughs> and what, what else is there? Did, did, uh, by, by the way, did, was there really an, an uh, given that she was going to regain it anyway? Was there really any need for um, because like uh, basically st- stalking is taken back into heaven? So, uh, uh, yeah, we, we haven't explained this, but uh, basically the goal, the quote unquote goal um, of uh, panty and stalking is to get heaven coins because for every monster yeah. that they defeat, they get heaven heaven coins, and if they get enough coins. They can go back to heaven because they have been kicked out of heaven, um, to earth, to or, or rather to to De- death and city, which is supposedly between uh, earth and heaven. Um, yes. and and they, they by episode twelve they have, they have earned enough um, enough coins, but um, Pant is too much of a degenerate uh, to be taken back into heaven. But stalking is fine. So, so, so that, so that's why uh, Pant is um, le- left alone. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, I think I think there's nothing else to say about this. Yeah, it it was it, it had a good. I think. Uh, so I watched uh, episode twelve. Th- th- this. Um, I I watched this. Um, no, this was episode. Yeah, episode twelve, part two, last night, mm-hmm. and I was kind of look, looking forward to the ending, episode thirteen, the last episode, but uh, I kind of didn't. Wasn't that good? Let's see. 
So yeah, it has been. Uh, yeah, the yeah yeah the ending was 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 a uh, kind of disappointing, and the uh, teaser at the end. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've um, I think we've I think we've we've already spoken about the uh, ending, right? Um, yeah, but uh, bef- before the ending, um, th- there was uh, this um, the, the the first uh, half where like uh, um, you know, you, you, basically Garth Belt uh, kicks kicks. Um, um, kicks uh, Pratty out because she doesn't have her powers uh, anymore, and uh, like he sets up a plan for her to I don't know to to regain her powers somehow. Like she she somehow ends up yeah. in a movie set. Yeah, yeah. Then she like <laughs> ends up on a farm, and and uh, for some reason she thinks this this random lady is is her grandmother, uh, but it turns out that's not her grandmother. Well. It is a grandmother, obviously, which is confusing. But but um, anyway, um, she fakes her death um, in some like random sh- shootout. It's pretty funny because um, at at the start of the episode, you think it's like a big flashback to like um Panty's like childhood, but it 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 just turns out like it's it, it's just a big stage set and like uh, um so so that some guys can trick Panty into into uh, c- coming back to a uh, safe brief. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, and... like um, it doesn't um, got to say yeah. Uh, um, you're no longer a a, a a angel bitch. Um, you're now just a regular bitch, and and then he kicks her out. <laughs> yeah, so you, you're just a <laughs> bitch. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just, you're just a bit. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, um, pretty like stupid like uh, hero, but I, I, it kind of works. Uh, in that, like, in that instance, just because it was like so dramatic, uh, but like what they were saying was just like so dumb. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. And um, the, the the so uh, that that section section of episode thirteen is called uh, uh, "Bitch Girls." Does that uh, ring any bell, Bitch Girl? Mm, not to me. Uh, well, it could be a, a reference to me. There's girls. a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a there's a. Yeah. That's that's Mean Girls have a sequel because the second part is called um, the, the last the final part mm. is called uh, Bitch Girls Two, Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch Girls Two, Bitch. That's like saying Mean Girls Two, Mean. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, um, Mean Girls Squared or uh, or some like or something. Anyway, um, what? Yeah. What were we talking about? <laughs> well, yeah, I, yeah. Anyway, yeah, as for as for the climax at the end of the series, um, it was it was alright. It was just uh, it just sort of descended into some like into some sort of uh, generic boss fight. Um, yeah, and then yeah. like and then a god appears or like or like the laundry god appears and uh, resurrects Garter. Um, and yeah, yeah, it was um, it was a nice uh, consequence-free series uh, where they like just beat the bad guy, basically. Um, yeah, so, so there you go. Um, I guess um, for me, I think I think I've already said this before, but um, the most like the most um, I think the worst part was 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 the after credit scene where like uh, oh, it turns out that a uh, stocking is uh, is a demon, and then she just like. It slices it, up and, and the catch is panting. I mean, yeah. I mean it, 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 isn't this the, the, the kind of thing that uh, uh, Twin Peaks would do? I mean, I've heard that it's full of unexpected twists. <laughs> no. No, okay, okay. Um, it's um, Twin Peaks is uh, is a different creature altogether. Um, you kind of have to watch it to sort of understand what's going on. Um, also, uh, Twin Peaks changes. Uh, Dramatically between uh, the first two series and the third series, um, um, yeah, um, but yeah, this like yeah, uh, this was um, completely yeah, um, this was um completely com- yeah, it, it just uh, it didn't make any sense. I guess when uh, Stocking came back from you know uh, came back from heaven, she wasn't like the real Stocking or something. I don't know, um, but. Uh, this uh, question, this uh, these th- these questions will be answered in the uh, 
second series that that will uh, never be made. So so <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and um, apparently uh, the series was uh, written by this company or whatever called uh, Geek Fleet, which is why I think like um, like in in the title title or uh, screens of the different segments of the episodes, like you will have like a guy nets and then a geek, uh, if you can remember that. Um, I see, I see. Um, a bit about the about uh, the production. Um, apparently, so following the broadcast of, uh, of Imaishi's previous project, Garan Lagan, uh, the show staff went on a trip for rest and relaxation. At that time, they aired their opinions to each other on the drunken, drunken and humorous circumstances, saying such things as, next time I want to try this in approaches to animation, almost all of the concepts uh, of the of the anime were, were made during this um, drunk uh, trip. Uh, the names of the, of main characters, Panty and Stocking, were coined at the very first meeting. Hiromi uh, Waka Bayashi, who provided the initial idea of the, for the series, cited American adult animation, such as Drawn Together, as inspiration for the show's crudeness. Ha- ha- has any of you seen Drawn Together? I did. I saw it as a kid on Jack TV, and it's eh, it's meh for me personally. I haven't seen that one. It's uh, it's got no. this Ameri- it's got this American crude humor. I'm just not into. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Um. I, I feel like I feel like we um. Are we done talking about Panther and Stocky students? Uh. Yes. Have we, yeah. Yes. Have we, yeah. Have we been like talking about this for like three hours or something or like? It must be like over, over two hours at this point. Anyway. Um. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, yeah. What, what, I, I should know where uh, this is. Uh, this is a question. Um, pansy or stocking students? Yeah, I know. You were, you were going to ask who is best girl. Yeah. Ah, yeah. God. I'm, God. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say stocking. 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 Yeah. Stocking. Yeah. I mean. I mean. Come on. Uh, by far. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we don't need to explain ourselves, I think. Uh, I no, don't know. No, no, no. It's like Raven versus it's... Starfire or <laughs> the usual shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's um, always, I it's always it's... this energetic girl versus this dark glum girl, whether it's Asuka and Ray, Raven, Starfire. And yeah, but, 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 yeah, but stalking isn't that... Uh... I mean, I guess she's kind of glum, maybe. Not really. I mean, they're, they're, both, they're both kind of um, doing Hyper. shit. Yes. Autistic. Mm, not not sure. I mean, is Panty autistic? Maybe. Um, anyway, I think uh, I think it's time to kick uh, uh, Craig out. Any final yeah. thoughts? Yeah, um, I give this series a, a six out of ten. Uh, the the same as uh, a lot of the things of uh, I've ever seen. <laughs> it was. I um, gave it a seven out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Um, it wasn't like amazing. It wasn't like a. I like. Um, to me, this did, this isn't a classic. Um, that might be because I did I didn't see it back in two thousand and ten. But uh, yeah, have you seen Garan yeah, Lagan yeah. by the way? No, I've not seen Garan Lagan. Uh, because yeah, I didn't really like Garan Lagan, and it, it's apparently by the same guy. So, but I did. I told this one was okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, seven out of ten. Now, right, cool. uh, yep, yeah. Craig can get out, and so can everyone else. Thank you.